Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a three plus hour cleaning marathon jam packed of tons of decluttering, organizing, packing, and moving motivation. I thought I would compile some of my most recent videos into a marathon for you guys so you can put me on and clean along with me for three and a half hours. No need to stop and find another video. You can just keep on cleaning. And if you are new here and you have no idea what's been going on, my move had turned into quite the fiasco. So this is going to be my whole moving saga. So you'll get to see the before I move and then the drama of when I moved. Plus, of course, all of the decluttering and organizing and packing that happened along the way. So this should be a very interesting cleaning motivation for you guys. And if you've never watched one of my cleaning videos before, I am a stay at home mama to four. I have two girls and two boys. So on my channel, you often will find messy house clean with me's because obviously with four kids, my house is always a wreck. Plus I love doing decluttering, organizing, laundry, pretty much any cleaning. You will find it here on my channel and I upload at least one video every single week. So if you enjoy cleaning content, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and stick around. And for all of my OG subscribers here, these videos are going to be familiar. They are my recent uploads, but nonetheless, they are super motivating and they will get you up and going. So I hope you decide to still stick around, watch and clean along with me. I appreciate you guys, all of you for just being here and spending your time with me. It honestly means the world and I am so appreciative to every Every single one of y'all but without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna be starting off with some packing and decluttering in my old house and then by the end of the video you will get to see my new house which is a rental so I hope y'all are ready for it get excited grab your favorite cup of coffee or your drink put me on your tablet or your TV and get some motivation for later or let's get up and let's get moving and let's start tackling those messes <music> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to some serious decluttering and cleaning motivation. Today's focus is mainly going to be on decluttering all of the closets and those forgotten areas because you guys know I'm moving and so getting this house decluttered has been my number one priority, but we are gonna be starting off in the kid's bathroom because as you can see, it is disgusting. And then once we tackle this, we will be getting into all of the decluttering. So I hope you guys are ready for it. Sit back, relax, grab your favorite drink and get some motivation for later today or go ahead, put me on and get up and clean along with me. I promise by the end of this video, you are going to be so motivated to tackle some area that you have forgotten about and that needs to be decluttered. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. I do not know how these kids manage to get so much toothpaste splattered all over the mirror every single time. And I know majority of it is coming from my boys. They are <laughs> the messiest. So we're going to get everything wiped up. I'm going to get the glass cleaned. And then I also need to clean out the drain because I was noticing it was starting to drain really slow. So I will be getting the snake out and getting that cleared up. But I did want to tell you guys that today's video is in collab with one of my good friends here on YouTube. Her name is Marie. Her channel is Marie Love Asbury. We have been YouTube friends for quite some time. So I want to let her introduce herself really quick to y'all. 
Hey y'all, my name is Marie and I'm a stay-at-home YouTube mama and wife from Georgia. I have four kids, ages 2, 5, 6, and 13. And here on my channel, I love to share all things about motherhood motivation and homemaking as far as cleaning and decorating and recipes. I'm always sharing all kind of dinner ideas and giving you all of the motivation. So basically my channel is focusing on cleaning and organizing, decluttering, decorating, all the things around the house, getting it done to give you the ultimate motivation. I'm so excited to be collabing with Ashley today. I hope that you guys will head over and check out my video today too, and I hope to see y'all soon. So make sure you guys don't forget to head over to Marie's channel after you get done watching for some more motivation. She also is planning on doing tons of decluttering and cleaning. And I know you guys will really enjoy her channel. She is super sweet and she also keeps it real and has a really big heart. So I know you guys will enjoy her channel. So make sure you head over there and let her know that Ashley sent you. But as you can see, we're now tackling this drain. I have no idea what this was inside of it. It was like chunky. I don't even know what. I thought I was going to be pulling hair out of the drain because that's typically what clogs up the drain. But no, this was just like chunky stuff. So I just went ahead and wiped it out, got as much as I could out of there. And then I made sure to run the water to make sure it was clear and everything was good. So I don't know what that was, but at least I got it out and now the drain is cleared up. I thought I would take a moment to do a little introduction in case you're new and you came over from Marie's channel or if you're just new in general, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. I am a stay-at-home mama to four and I currently live in West Texas, but that's not going to be for that much longer because we are in the process of moving. We are decluttering the house and starting to pack up. We are going to be moving halfway across the country here in the next couple weeks and I plan on sharing the whole process with you guys. So much motivation coming your way but I do have four kiddos. I have two girls and two boys. Their ages are from four all the way up to 13. So on my channel, you're gonna get tons of your everyday messes. I love decluttering, organizing. I share laundry motivation. I do it all, so if you enjoy cleaning content, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. I always keep it real like I say a million times over again this is not your pinterest worthy house i don't try to keep things perfect everything isn't picturesque it's just real and i want you guys to come to my channel and feel that and know that there is no judgment we are all trying to do the best with what we have and that's all we can do and i just hope to be a place where you can come and feel uplifted inspired and motivated to tackle whatever needs to be tackled in your life or in your home. Shoes 
So as y'all can see, we're tackling my junk drawers. This is the catch-all area, my coffee bar area, and these drawers, even the cabinets up above is my catch-all space. I do need to still go through the upper cabinets, but for right now, we're gonna tackle the junk drawers. So I'm going through everything, seeing what I can get rid of, putting things back into their home, where they go, and then I'm gonna pack up majority of this stuff. The only thing I'm gonna be leaving out is this organizer because it does have our pens and pencils and we still use those pretty much every day. So I wanted to make sure I left those out. But all the other little knickknack things, I went ahead and packed away because we won't really need them until, you know, after we move. Going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life. You like to drive, get down dirty, act like the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight. Mm, you got the best of me. I do have this little storage container that I keep in my closet. It has almost all the chargers that we own to all of the random things, especially like the outdoor scooters and bikes and stuff like that. I like to keep them in here. That way I know exactly where they are and I try to keep them nice and tidy and wrapped up. That way it's not a jumbled mess. So I did have some cords in the junk drawer that needed to go in here as well. so good in here now i'm proud of myself i have a completely empty drawer and then just the little organizer and then those were all the tools that needed to go into the garage so i did put those up but now we're going to head over to my little storage closet that's near the laundry room this is kind of my cleaning product area i also keep an organizer that has um, the dog stuff like their leashes and extra blankets. We also have batteries in here and kind of miscellaneous things that I you know, don't really know where to put. So I put them in this organizer, but I wanted to go through it, see if there was anything that I could get rid of, consolidate some things. I did have batteries like all over the place. So thankfully I went through them all and put them into this little container and it is so full of batteries now. I am set for a while. <laughs> like it's like I was misplacing batteries and not realizing that I still had some. So now I have an abundance of them.
my biggest tip whenever I'm decluttering is if you guys have been here for a while, you've heard this tip probably numerous times, but my biggest tip is to pull everything out and really go through it and see what you have and what you haven't touched in quite some time. My typical rule of thumb when it's like items in the household is six months. So if I haven't touched something in six months, it's probably time to part ways with it unless it's something seasonal. Obviously, you know, there's some things that we use in one season and not in another. So I do make an exception when it comes to things like that. But for your common everyday items, if you aren't using it in a six month span, you probably don't need it. Got all the dog stuff in here, all of my batteries, some of the extra light bulbs because they wouldn't all fit in there. And then down here, my extra mop heads, my steamer and my steam mop and the other attachments. Now to just get this a little more tidied up. There's really not much in here I need to get rid of. I just need to go through it, especially those. so thankful that I have done quite a few different decluttering series on my channels these last couple years because I know this moving process would have been much more stressful than what it is just because moving halfway across the country really makes you analyze what you have and what is worth taking with you because y'all, it is so expensive to move, especially to move a far distance. It's crazy and everything that you bring with you adds up. So like our movers were telling us, the more space you take up, the more it's gonna cost. So like I mentioned before, the goal is to really downsize as much as we possibly can. So I'm so thankful that I've been doing a lot of decluttering. It's paying off now and I'm still, you know, going through and rechecking everything because I feel like, you know, sometimes we can be a little bit more lenient or think like, oh, you know, I might need that. But when you know you are going to be paying extra to lug all the stuff halfway across the country, I feel like you are much better at analyzing what's important and what's not. But if you guys are also on a decluttering process, I have some playlists that I can link for you guys up in the cards if you need more decluttering motivation after this. I do have a couple playlists and of course, like I said, I'm doing some more decluttering before we move, before we start packing. Today's video is the bulk of the decluttering, but I will be doing a few more places and then we're going to be packing up. It's almost time, you guys. It is crunch time. But as you can see, I'm pulling down the curtains. Ethan hit my camera. Um, but I'm taking down the curtains because for one, I needed to wash them. They were getting like spots of food and they were closed in the door. There were grease stains on them. So I wanted to pull them down and wash them before I pack them up. So we're going to be washing them. I spray them with the shout degreaser one because you know like i said it got closed in the door and there was just like some black grease on them and that shout does a great job at removing grease stains 
So we're gonna wash them and then I will be packing them away for the new home. Under my tattoos, it's a remedy, remedy, remedy. And the way you go, baby, don't you know? There's a remedy, remedy, remedy. Yeah, yeah, it's a remedy, remedy. Yeah. Oh, no. While the curtains are washing, I decided to go ahead and go through this basket of socks. You guys know I hate socks. <laughs> I hate them. If I could afford to, I would just buy new socks because I just don't like matching them up. It is not my favorite thing, but obviously we cannot move with a basket full of socks, nor am I going to throw all of these random socks into a box. So I decided to take the time and go through my basket. I matched up socks for, I kid you not, over 30 minutes. It took me so long. I sped this up really fast and I obviously didn't want to bore you to death with all the footage, but just know it took me forever and I felt very accomplished, but the socks that didn't have matches or, you know, were holy or whatever, I did just go ahead and throw them away, but I matched a lot. It's now time to tackle underneath this bed. I have a lot of random things. I have like wrapping paper and my stair stepper thing, but I really don't know what else is underneath here. So let's go ahead, pull everything out and go through it. And I just took Stella to the groomers today. <laughs> she looks so different, you guys. I got her hair cut like a poodle. Usually I do like the teddy bear cut. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. But I went with a poodle cut and oh my gosh, she looks just like a poodle now. If you guys are new here, she is a cavapoo. So she's a King Charles Cavalier mixed with a poodle. But oh my gosh, she looks so much like a poodle now. It's so cute. I was pleasantly surprised that there wasn't more under the bed. I thought there was more than this. So I'm pretty happy with how many different things that I pulled out. It wasn't too terrible. So we are gonna go through it, see what I can get rid of. Oh my gosh, you guys. There is a sippy cup underneath here. This has to be so old. Thank goodness there's just water in here. I've tried sometimes, but you're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I can't live without you. I do have a storage bin specifically for all of my like wrapping paper and Christmas, you know, stuff. It is in the storage unit, so I need to grab that out. So, so for the meantime, I'm just gonna pile everything over in the corner until I get into the storage unit. The plan was to go to the storage over the weekend, but you guys will see, um, we did not get around to doing that because we organized the garage and that took us all day it was it was a huge task so by the time we got done going through everything we just did not feel like going up to the storage unit and pulling everything out so we plan on doing that on a later date but once i do then i'll go ahead and put all of my 
wrapping stuff into that storage container. My husband, as y'all know, has a billion different hats and I've been storing them in our luggage, but I had to throw them on the floor because I needed the luggage to go to my Nana's house. And so whenever we got back, I, you know, I didn't unpack until right now. So I'm going ahead and putting all the hats back in here. He assures me that he's going to go through his hats and get rid of a lot of them, which hopefully he does because we are not going to have this space in the new house. I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet, but we are, you know, we're going to be renting our home in Virginia. Virginia where we're going to be moving but the house is about almost 300 square feet smaller than this home plus we have a storage unit full of crap <laughs> so like I said I really have to downsize I've got to declutter I got to get rid of some stuff because quite frankly I don't know where we're gonna put it in the next house so that's the goal. And so my husband promised that he's going to go through his hats and get rid of a bunch of them too. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules. Good on the weekends. I'll be in fools drifting the deep. I want to show you guys what we did over the weekend in the garage. I really wish I would have did it before and after, but this is what we got going on so we left all the tools that way whenever the movers come they can just load those up but we swept the whole garage out we literally went through every single thing we packed up which we only have i think two boxes of two or three only a couple boxes of things that were from the garage that could go in a box and then you know we have like the saw and lawnmower, bikes, say hi. Um, so we have everything stacked up right here. The goal is to put the boxes in the garage as we pack up. That way the inside doesn't get completely covered. But I'm really happy with everything we did over the weekend. My husband did help me, so that's why I didn't record it. He doesn't like to be on camera, but it was a very productive Saturday. I also trimmed the hedges, I pulled weeds, I cleaned my car, which I almost filmed it. But I was like, I was in the moment. I was trying to get it done. I also emptied out my um, garden buckets that had my plants in them. I want to take the buckets with me because they were pretty expensive. So I emptied out all the dirt, which was so heavy. <laughs> and now I just need to clean the pots out there on the back porch. I'm just waiting for the weather to get a little bit better because it was super cold and windy the day that I, you know, dump the dirt out so i want to wait until it's like sunny because i'm going to hose them off but we had a super productive weekend this weekend and so now the goal is to do all the little decluttering and then the major packing just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless while I was going through my shoes, I did decide to go ahead and pack them up because a lot of them are either summer shoes or dress up shoes and I just don't wear them that often. So I did leave out warm boots because we are making our vacation to Rio Doso in the next couple days and I needed to make sure I had warm shoes and then I also left out my workout shoes because I use those practically every single day but I packed up the rest of the stuff and I went ahead and started packing the things in the closet that I don't really use on a daily basis 
and like some of this stuff right here in this basket is like workout gear and stuff. So I went ahead and packed it up because I've been using my Peloton and my treadmill a lot. So I really don't use these bands all that often. So I'm gonna go ahead, pack them away and also start packing all of my books up. It is the next day and I'm ready to tackle Aubrey's room. We will be getting rid of this bed frame just because it is super old and the bottom of it is cracked. You can't see it from this angle, but the footboard of it does have a crack down the middle of it. And we have had this bed frame since me and my husband first moved in together, which was like almost 17 years ago. It's definitely held up for a really long time, but it's time to get a new one. I'm also contemplating on downsizing her bed just because in the new house, her room is going to be kind of small kind of like this room but of course it's kind of hard to tell from pictures we did have our family do the walkthrough for us so i mean it's just hard to tell but i'm thinking if the room is kind of small like this i probably am going to just go ahead and get all around a smaller bed a new mattress that's smaller just so her things fit better in here. She has a lot going on with the desk and the chair and just everything. So depending on what the room size is, we might also have to get a new mattress. But for right now, we're gonna hang on to the mattress. That way she can obviously sleep on it until we move. But we are gonna be disposing of this bed frame. So I wanted to go ahead and take it apart. That way my husband could go drop it off at his work dumpster the next day. The one thing I always did love about this bed is that it's so easy to put together and it's so easy to take apart. So this process really didn't take me too long, but I was glad that we took it apart and moved it because I did not realize how disgusting the wall was because she does sleep right against that wall and it definitely needed to be cleaned. got the fr bed frame apart. Now I have to take it downstairs, but first I'm going to have to clear a path because this is what it's looking like a mess. I'll carry these down first and then she's just going to um, sleep on her mattress for now. And then when we get to the new house, we will order her a new bed frame. since I pulled the bed out and everything I wanted to make sure I wiped down the baseboards while I'm at it you guys know I don't really do like a full-on you know 
day of baseboards throughout the house. I just try to do the baseboards in the rooms whenever I do a deeper cleaning. So I try to hit them at least once or twice a year. I always try to go through the rooms and do a deeper cleaning. I did need to clean her ceiling fan and I completely forgot to do it this day, but that is something that's on my to-do list. I told you guys this wall was so disgusting so I will be using my chomp wall cleaner and I also decided to go ahead and just take down this um, little I don't know picture thing that she has hanging on the wall I need to start going through the house and getting all the pictures off the walls so I figure I'll just go ahead and get started in here and get this wall cleaned up and then we're gonna get her bed back into place <laughs> But we are near the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out Marie Love Asbury's channel. I will have it linked down in my description for you guys. And if you're new here, I really hope you hit that subscribe button and stick around. I upload at least one to two videos every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome back. I hope y'all are ready for some major cleaning motivation. I actually just got back from vacation to Rio Doso, which was fun, but also kind of crappy because my husband ended up getting really sick and now the kids are starting to get sick. I am trying really hard not to get sick. I'm taking some Zycam because my parents were telling me that it works amazingly. So I've been taking that like crazy. 
And crossing my fingers, I don't get sick because we are so close to moving time. I have a million things I still need to pack and declutter and just get ready to go for the move. So I'm going to try to tackle it today. I also, but we're going to start off the video with some footage of before I left for Rio Doso. I was actually going through the boys' toys and decluttering, and then I'm also going to be packing up some things in their room. And then we got a call for a showing, and so I had to stop what I was doing and like clean the entire house. So you're going to see that footage, and then we'll get into current time today and start tackling the rest of the boys' bedroom. And then of course, get some packing done. I hope you guys are ready for it. It should be super motivating. Hopefully I can finish out this video and not get sick, but we will see. And I am happy to say that as I'm recording this voiceover, I am still sickness free, but we did figure out it was the flu that everyone was catching. My best friend who went to Rio Doso with us, unfortunately her family all caught it as well. I'm literally the last one standing who hasn't caught it. And I swear it's the Zycam. I mean, that's the only thing different that I have done that no one else did. So definitely recommend some Zycam, especially if you feel like a sickness is coming on. I found mine at Walgreens and also Walmart, but Walmart was much more affordable. It was like $5 cheaper. So definitely look into that to keep you healthy. But as you can see, we're starting off in the boys' bedroom. I needed to go through their toys and declutter them, get rid of anything that was broken or stuff they didn't use anymore. I do try to drop most things off at Goodwill or for clothes, I drop them off in the donation station. And I just like doing that because I need to get the things out of the house as quickly as possible, especially because this move is coming up so soon, you guys. When you guys are watching this, it will be the last couple days that we are in our home. I just can't believe it. The time has come. The kids just had their last day of school at their school. So it's almost moving time and I cannot wait to share all the content with you guys and the house tour. But y'all know that my boys share a bedroom. So this is their combined room. But Austin, my eight year old, really doesn't play with too many toys. The only things he really likes to play with is Nerf guns and like some of the dress up stuff because they do like to play Nerf battles. So for the most part, I was just having Ethan help me go through all the toys and pick out the things that he wanted and the things that he no longer wanted. And then we also need to look under their bed because that's another spot that we store their toys. And I'm really proud of him. He did get rid of quite a few things. As I'm packing up the kids' rooms in my bedroom, I'm making a point to do some deeper cleaning like dusting and stuff like that just so whenever we move out, I don't have a ton of stuff to clean. I do plan on doing like a pretty good deep clean of the house before we go. We're not quite sure if we're gonna be selling it or renting it out, but either way, I wanna make sure I leave this house in the best condition possible. So I'm making sure to dust everything really well. I will be pulling down curtains soon and start washing those before I pack those away because those were pretty dusty as well. You said that you needed me Like a cargo you will carry me I just hope you know my death Even though it makes no sense in my last cleaning video, I asked y'all about your opinion on my music and if you like music with lyrics or without lyrics. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the responses. It really means so much to me and it helped me out. For the most part, majority of y'all agree that you like music with lyrics. There, of course, are some people who like music without. So I'll be sure to do a variety, but I'll likely stick to more music with lyrics. But of course, I'll mix in some without but I appreciate you guys taking the time and leave me the comments because it really does make a huge difference for me. It lets me know what y'all's preferences are. And of course, if there's ever anything specific you want to see from me or maybe something new that you learned or you want me to try, always feel free to leave me comments. I'm always open to suggestions. Too much of emotion. on the line. Wanna pick a fight with everything seems so good. I guess I can't help myself. 
I could not believe how dusty everything was as I was taking it off the walls. Dust was falling, so I did wipe the edges of the picture frames. That way, whenever we move them, they are nice and clean for the new home. little cubbies I have the kids books as you guys know if you've been here for a while I have been doing some major decluttering over the last two years I have went through every single room probably twice and I've gotten rid of a lot of things so I knew there wasn't any books I wanted to get rid of just because I did narrow them down to the more like boyish books and age appropriate so I just went ahead and started packing them up nice and secure in the box. I made sure to put a lot of tape on the bottom, especially when I know I'm putting a lot of heavy things into the boxes. I want to make sure that I layer up the tape so we don't have any rips. That's one of my concerns with these large boxes is that they hold so much stuff and I'm so scared. I'm going to like pack it with really heavy stuff and then one of the boxes are just going to bottom out, but... Hopefully I've been putting enough tape on them. The boys have so many Pokemon. I just went ahead and tried to neatly put them into a big gallon Ziploc bag. That way they're in one place and hopefully won't get completely ruined when I put them into a box. I know a lot of you guys don't watch every single one of my videos, so I thought I would make a playlist with all of my moving content. That way, if you miss anything or you need to get caught up, it'll be all in one place for you guys, easy to go through and catch up on what's going on. So I will have that playlist down in the description and up in the cards so you guys can find it and get all caught up on what's going on. And I plan on adding all of the future moving content videos into that playlist as well. Yoda, my pug, was just chilling next to me. He is never disturbed. Like, he is so chill and laid back. He'll just lay there and <laughs> let you do whatever. Even if toys are, like, hitting him, he's just like, whatever. He's so funny. But I went ahead and put all of the train set pieces into this little fabric bag and then put it into a box. I was trying to figure out how to turn the train set off because it does have batteries and it kept going off, but I could not find a switch to like switch it over. So I'm like, whatever, the batteries will probably be dead by the time we get there, but <laughs> I could not figure out how to turn that thing off.
If you guys are currently moving or about to move, my biggest tip for boxing things up is to always write everything down on the box that's inside of it. When I was younger and I used, to, you know, we used to move around, I would just put like master bedroom, kitchen. I never wrote anything specific. And then when it was time to start unboxing or, you know, I wasn't ready to like fully unpack everything, I was scrambling, ripping open all the boxes, trying to figure out where the items were at. So now I've learned to just take the extra time, write out everything that you put into the box. That way, if you don't fully unpack right away, you can go through and easily find what you're looking for by just reading the labels on the box. But we are now in current time. Like I said, we ended up having a showing that day. So I had to quickly clean up the entire house. I barely had about an hour and 15 minutes to get it done. I was scrambling you guys. I was like deep into decluttering. So the house was a mess, but thankfully we got it cleaned up. Unfortunately, they didn't end up wanting to buy our house. They said they loved it, but they were hoping for something a little bit more in like the center of a cul-de-sac and we live on the corner of the street. So that kind of stunk, but hopefully our time is coming soon and we will find a buyer or someone to rent the house to. But I am unpacking all of our stuff from our trip to Rio Doso. We went on our family vacation, which was fun, but as you guys know, we also got sick. I did vlog it, so I will put that video in the cards in case you wanna check it out. But first thing I wanted to do was get the laundry going and get all the unpacking done. So y'all know I've been using this Zum. I love this. It is more of a manly scent, the frankincense and myrrh. Um, Adrian said she didn't really like it that much because it smells like kind of boyish. So we just picked this one up. I haven't even used it yet. I'm finishing up this. This is the sea salt scent. It smells good. It's kind of like a little bit more bland. I can't even put my finger on what the smell is. I'd say it's kind of like maybe a tiny bit citrusy, but I'm gonna see what it smells like on the clothes. If I don't like that one, I'm gonna go back to this scent because I personally really like it. But as for like how it cleans, I feel like it does a really good job. I haven't had any issues. I haven't been seeing those little grease spots on my clothes anymore. So I'm really enjoying this. And I found this at Target. I've currently been using the new scent, the sea salt one for a few days now, and I'm really enjoying the scent. It is a more subtle scent compared to the uh, frankincense one. The frankincense is much stronger. Like I said, it is like a manly scent, but the sea salt smells so good. It does remind me of almost like a citrus, like lemony scent when the clothes are done and fully washed. And I love it because you still have a scent when the clothes are done, which has been really hard to find with an all natural detergent. So if you guys like a strong scent like me, definitely check that one out. I'm really enjoying the sea salt scent. I'm kind of on the fence if I'm gonna stick with that scent or possibly go back to the frankincense one, but I do love them. The only thing that I'm kind of like hesitant on, I'm not sure what's going on, is Aubrey has broken out in a rash on her arm and Adrian has broken out in a rash on her leg. And I'm trying to figure out, is it just a coincidence or is it the laundry detergent? So I'm gonna give it a few more days see if their rashes go away or see if they continue to get them. I'm gonna be so bummed if the kids are allergic to this laundry detergent because I really love it. So I'm hoping that's not the issue, but I guess in time, we will be able to figure that out. currently picking up all the clothes that was in my luggage and I think I had some clean clothes from downstairs too but I'm picking everything up and then we're actually going to be 
going through their clothes and decluttering Austin's clothes and then packing up the boys stuff that they won't be using until after we move. But I just wanted to get everything organized and back into the spaces before I started packing it up. When we were in Rio Doso and my husband was sick, he literally did not leave the bedroom. He was so awful. He did not feel good. So he did not dirty any laundry because he just stayed in the same clothes and slept the whole time. So I ended up putting his luggage into our bedroom. I planned on picking up his clothes, but I never got around to it. But I had so many other things to get done. I was like, you know what? We'll, we'll tackle that later. I got plenty of time, but I needed to get through some of this laundry because I was so backed up just in general and then add the clothes from vacation. It was just a lot to get done. our move coming up I've been thinking about like all the logistics of everything the driving and having animals with me and just everything that goes along with it and I think the number one thing that I'm most like stressed about and don't really know what to do about is my cat because this is going to be the longest road trip that he's ever been on he's going to be in his little cat carrier and I'm just like, how do I get him to like use the bathroom and not be scared? Because usually when he's scared, he just hides out and he just wants to curl up. So I'm like, is he even going to use the bathroom whenever we're driving? I'm just, I'm worried about my cat. I really hope he doesn't freak out too bad because our drive is a almost 25 hour drive, which obviously we're going to have to split it up because I have to drive my vehicle and then my husband is going to be driving his truck. So it's probably going to be a full two day adventure. And I'm just really worried about my cat. I hope he does. Okay. If you guys have any advice for me or tips and tricks, let me know down in the comments because I'm really worried about him. I don't know how he's going to handle it. Now that I'm all caught up on the laundry, I got the unpacking done. It's time to head back into the pool the boys bedroom and start packing. So I'm pulling everything out of the closet, the clothes, the stuff that was on the shelves, and we're going to go through it. Austin had a lot of clothes that I knew he wasn't wearing or just didn't like in general. We had gotten some hand-me-downs and some of it he just didn't like. So I told him we would go through it and I wanted him to be completely honest what he wanted to keep and what he wanted to get rid of. And then of course, anything that I really loved and wanted to save for Ethan, I also held on to. I had a big tub aware in the closet already for hand-me-downs for Ethan. And so I just went ahead and added those pieces into there. That way when Ethan gets big enough, he can go ahead and wear those. But Austin had so much clothes, you guys. It was way too much. So I'm glad we finally went through it and decluttered.
for me It doesn't matter what you're gonna say I just need time right now I'm going alone to Usually whenever we move, I leave the clothes on the hangers and just fold them as neatly as I can into the box and move it like that. That way, whenever we get to the new house, you can just grab it out really easily and hang them back up into the closet. But since this move was such a big one and we knew we had a lot of stuff that needed to be boxed up, we were really trying to save as much space as possible. So that is why you'll see me end up take all the clothes off of the hangers and fold them. And then we're going to be putting them into vacuum seal bags. That way we could shrink them down as small as possible, which really did help save space. But my dilemma now is what do I do with all the hangers? <laughs> If you guys have some ideas for me, let me know because I'm like, what do I do? Do I rubber band the hangers together? Do I just throw them in a box? Like, I just don't want to have a big jumbled up mess whenever we get to Virginia. And I also don't want my hangers to break. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think would be best? I was kind of thinking maybe like taping the hangers together. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. I don't need nobody else but me. But I'm thinking about the way you the way you make me ground and the way you the way you used to hold me. When the sword and the water sing and down I'm still falling for ya. Forget what I said, come on over. Out of all the packing that I have to do in the house, I must admit the clothes is the most tedious for me. This took me so long and I, am, I actually just did my bedroom today as I'm recording this voiceover, which you guys will see in the next video. But the clothes took so long. It is so much faster to just take the clothes with the hanger on it and put them into the box like... I I really was contemplating like maybe we should just take up more space on the truck but I know I can't because we're already expected to fill up a I think it's a 26 foot truck I, I'm pretty sure is what they said um, it's like the largest truck so I'm like I have to save space otherwise we might not be able to fit everything onto the truck but I was definitely contemplating like, let me just shove it all into the box because this was so tedious. I've been thinking about you day and night and day and night. To be honest, I just don't know what to do next. Cause I'm the one with a broken heart waiting for you to come out and save me. I'm a mess, need some time going now. As of right now, I have all the hangers hanging up in everyone's closet and yeah, I still have to figure out what to do <laughs> with all of them and it sure is a lot. It's so crazy, you guys. When you start moving and putting things into boxes, you really get to see how much stuff you have. It is insane <laughs> how much we accumulate over time. She's got a tough life over there. Stella is too stinking cute. <laughs> but now I went ahead and pulled out all of Ethan's clothes. I recently went through his, so I knew there really wasn't anything I wanted to get rid of. I might have maybe discarded a couple things that were stained or too small. 
but gonna quickly go through this grab out any clothes that I wanted to keep out for you know when we drive and stuff like that I want to make sure we have at least a few outfits and the movers said it could take like four to six days for them to make it all the way to Virginia so hopefully they won't take too long I am a little worried since we've been getting so many crazy snowstorms and just crazy weather coming through I'm praying that the truck won't have any issues driving halfway across the country and they'll make it there pretty quickly. The stuff that I left hanging on the dresser is everything I'm going to leave out for the week and then all the rest is getting bagged up and vacuum sealed and packed away ready to go. But one of the downsides to doing the vacuum seal bags is that whenever you put them into the box, they're such an awkward shape where it's almost like, what can you fit in there with that funny shaped bag? Because it's, it's rock solid. Like whenever you touch it, it is so hard. So what I've been trying to do is like vacuum seal the bigger items like coats and, you know, stuff like that. And then the smaller items, I've been packing packing them in between all the cracks around the bag. That way we don't waste any space. I've definitely been trying to be very strategic with how I pack everything and make sure there's no spaces left inside the boxes. So that is one of the bad things about it. So what I've been doing is just putting one large bag into the box and then packing stuff all around it because you really can't fit another bag inside the box with it. I hope that makes sense, but I kind of wish I would have ordered a variety of the vacuum seal bags because I only got the jumbo ones, which are great. They hold a lot, but I didn't really think about, you know, trying to fit them into the boxes. So having different sizes <laughs> would have been helpful. So heavy. I went ahead and decided to get rid of this little tent building thing. It was a cute idea in theory, but it was so flimsy. The kids would get so frustrated when trying to put it together that they would just, you know, just give up, not use it. We've had it for over a year and they pulled it out maybe twice. So I decided, you know what, we might as well just get rid of it. It's taking up space and it doesn't really work that good. Ethan was a little upset about it because he was like, I'm going to use it. But I'm like, you have not been using it. That's definitely like one of the tough things with moving and decluttering is, you know, you see these things and I know for me, the number one thing I think about is like, how much money did I spend on it? And then I also think like, did I get my money's worth? And it's hard. It's so hard, you guys, especially nowadays, because things are so expensive and we don't want to just throw our money out the window. So believe me, I know decluttering can be very difficult. And if you are struggling with it, try to do yard sales or maybe put things for sale on Craigslist if you wanna to try to earn a little money back. I know it's more time consuming and you have to you know, meet up with people and stuff, but it will pay off in the long run. You will get some of your money back. I'm hoping in Virginia we'll have better luck. I used to resell things all the time. When I lived in North Carolina, and in San Antonio, it was so easy to resale, but for some reason, where we are right now in the Midland Odessa area, for one, they don't have Facebook, Facebook Marketplace, which I think is so weird. And for two, it's like everyone doesn't like 
they're so cheap. <laughs> they are so cheap. They don't want to pay for anything. I listed things for what I thought was super cheap and affordable and would never get hits on it. And then even when I would do garage sales, people wanted everything for next to nothing. And I know a lot of people around here, they go back home to Mexico and they like bring the stuff over the border. So I know they're trying to get really good deals on things, which is understandable, but it's very frustrating when you're trying to resell stuff and you can't sell it for, you know, basically just pennies. So I pretty much given up reselling stuff here, but in Virginia, I'm definitely planning on doing a lot of garage sales. I'm going to be reselling off of Facebook marketplace because it's just a bigger population, more people, and it's going to be easier to do it. And over there, they have Facebook marketplace. As I'm watching back the footage, I'm realizing that my boys have way too many boxers. I don't know how many boxers one child needs, but they definitely have too many. So I think whenever I get to Virginia, I will be de decluttering those a bit more because it's a bit much. I've really been trying to stick to two uploads a week again. I love putting out two videos, but of course with the move coming up and everything, it's going to be a bit challenging. I'm hoping we'll get internet pretty quickly so I can stick to my upload schedule, but I hope you guys bear with me during this moving process and know that I'm trying my best. I know technology is sometimes hard, especially when you're moving into a new area and we, you know, we don't know how the internet's going to work over there. So hopefully everything goes smoothly, but I'm thinking after this video, I should have one more for y'all hopefully come out on Sunday and that's going to depend on if I can get it fully edited by this weekend. I'm hoping I will. Um, but if not, then I'll probably schedule that one for, you know, probably next Friday or so, but hopefully I'm going to stick to Friday and Sunday uploads. That's kind of my goal right now, but I am feeling so proud of myself. I went through all of the boys clothes. I got them vacuum sealed and picked up. I had some room left over in this bag. So I went ahead and grabbed things out of Adrian's closet. She has already decluttered her stuff. She's ready to start packing it up. So I went ahead, grabbed her clothes and put some in here so we could store that away. But that is going to do it for today's video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. I upload cleaning motivation every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!
friends, welcome back. Today we are going to get started on, of course, more decluttering, packing. It is crunch time. It is getting so close to the move. I'm still trying to avoid sickness. It's still going on in the house. Thankfully, I have not caught it. I have been taking Zycam like it's going out of style and I think it's working, knock on wood. <laughs> but today I thought we would go ahead and get started in the kitchen. I've really been wanting to declutter and just go ahead and start packing up a lot of the stuff that I don't use every day. And I'm also gonna be mindful of like the things that I don't use, do I really need to keep them and store them and bring them to the new house? Because you guys know we are gonna be downsizing in the new home, so I'm really trying to get rid of things that we just don't use and haven't been touched in a while. So that is the goal today. I hope you guys are ready for it. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. I am a stay-at-home mom to four and I love sharing your everyday messes and we are currently in the process of moving halfway across the country. I live in Texas and we are moving back home to Virginia so I have a lot of exciting content coming your way so I'd love for you to subscribe if you're new but let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to be starting off in the kitchen. This is the main area that I really wanted to not only declutter, but start getting packed up because I have a lot of things in here and I know I needed to go through them. Plus I have stuff that I don't really touch too often. So I could go ahead and get started packing. This is roughly about, I'd say six days before the movers were coming. So I had a little bit more time. I was trying to get some decluttering done. I wanted to start off in the medicine cabinet. We had a lot of random things in here, especially expired stuff. So the kitchen was definitely one of the first areas. So we're going to tackle almost this entire thing. I'm not packing everything, but I'm packing majority of the kitchen up today. I was thinking, you know, just kind of leave out the essentials, the stuff that I'm going to continue to use. And then once we get to about two days before the move, I was going to pack up everything completely and just switch over to like paper plates and plastic silverware and things like that. And then after we tackle the kitchen, we're going to start taking things down off of the wall. We're going to start packing up my closet. So lots of packing in today's video and decluttering motivation coming your way and also the most insane moving situation that could ever happen. So as I'm recording this voiceover, I am now in Virginia, which is super exciting. I'm so happy we're finally here, but you guys, it has been a roller coaster. This move has been nothing like I, I thought it was gonna be. Everything has just gone wrong. So instead of waiting until the footage of us like moving in and all of that, I thought I would just go ahead and tell you guys what's been going on. And that's why you haven't seen a video in me from me for almost a week. I was planning on having these videos come out a lot sooner, but I did not know what was about to take place. I didn't know all the craziness that was going to happen. So yeah. I guess first you need kind of the backstory of everything before I get into it. But as y'all know, we were hiring a moving company to move our things for us. We are obviously packing it ourselves, and then we were going to have them drive our stuff. And whenever I called this company, which I'm not going to say the name quite yet until we get our things back because we don't have our things. But, um, whenever I called this company, they explained to me how they do it. They said, oh, you know, sometimes it takes four to six days for the drivers to make it, you know, across the country because it is a far drive. So the way they were talking, they made us think that they were driving our stuff across the country. And, you know, it just takes a little longer because they're in a big truck. So we were told four to six days max. And this is why I left out about a week's worth of clothes and things like that. And not only did they make it sound appealing for, you know, oh, four to six days to get your things, but also they gave us an amazing rate. We talked to them, we were negotiating. They were like, oh yeah, after going over everything in our house, which I went over with them two different times, they were like, oh, for sure, you're gonna fit in a 26 foot truck, no problem. That's what they wrote up our quote for. So the way he was talking to me on the phone, he said, okay, a 26 foot truck. And 
of course me being naive and not really, you know, I'm not a professional mover. That's why we hired a professional. I was thinking, okay, 26 foot truck. Sure. Sounds great. I Googled it. It says, oh, for a four bedroom house, a 26 foot truck is sufficient. So little did I know that whenever he was telling me this, he didn't actually quote us for a full 26 foot truck. He quoted us for 1500 cubic feet, which is only 75% of a truck. We didn't know this until the day of when the movers show up for one, it is a different company name, not the one that I called and got a quote from. It's someone completely different and this truck looks small. Supposedly it's 26 foot, I don't know. I didn't pull my tape measure out to measure it, but the truck did not look big and I immediately I was kind of like, um, I'm not sure about this. So the guy comes in and he's like, okay, well let's do a quick walkthrough of the house. And he looks at all of our things and he's like, yeah, there's no way that's going to fit in a 26 foot truck. And I'm like, what? We went over everything numerous times, how many boxes, everything. If anything, yeah, the box count might've been a little off, but not by much. So I'm like, okay, so what are you saying? Like they quoted us $6,500 for our move. And he's like, well, you know, I have to crunch the numbers and blah, blah, blah. He comes back and he tells us $16,500. And we're like, what? How does that even make sense? That's tr almost triple our initial quote. That, that does not make any sense at all. Like, wouldn't it just be double? And he's like, well, you got a really good rate and that was through that company and they contracted us out and we just can't match that price. And, you know, I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, why would you take our like moving like, why would you take this job if you knew how much we were going to pay? Like it, you guys, I wish, I wish we could go back in time, but let me, let me continue on with my story. So we're like, we're like, no way that's way too expensive. And so he gets on the phone he's like trying to talk to his manager. And so we end up talking them down a total of like a thousand dollars or I don't, I, it was like, yeah, right under a thousand dollars. So we're spending almost $16,000 for the move. And we're like, we're still thinking like, that's way too much. No. So we tell the guy, okay, just go ahead and load up what we paid for our, you know, lo load up the 26 foot truck. So this is when we figure out we didn't actually pay for a full 26 foot truck. So he fills it up 75%, which was only not even everything upstairs. It was just like the boxes upstairs, some of the furniture. And then he was like, okay, that's it. And I'm like, what do you mean? That's it. You still have room in your truck. He's like, well, you only paid for 75% of a truck. And I was like, what? And so like literally everything was so messed up. And so by this time we're thinking like, okay, they were professional, like wrapping up our stuff. They made everything really secure. So we're like, you know what? They're doing a really good job. Let's just suck it up. Let's just do it. Okay. 16,000, two trucks. Perfect. So they spend all day loading up the truck. They end up having to take this truck off, load it. And also at this time, he tells us they aren't the ones driving it. They're going to go offload it onto like a big, I'm assuming like a, uh, some, a storage container or like something where like a, he said a person who has a CDL drives it. So I'm like, are you loading it up into a big freight car? I don't know what's going on. So he takes our stuff and he offloads it onto something. And then he comes back with the same truck and fills it up again. And once again, he fills it up 75%. And I'm like, what are you doing? You told us we need two truckloads. He's like, well, that was the quote for 75% of another one. And I'm like, oh, you gosh, you guys, I was just like, everything that was coming out of their mouths were just lies. And so we literally had so much furniture left over. Y'all, when I say we had a lot of furniture, we have both of my girls' dressers. We had both of our sofas, our grill, my mirror in my room. We had my TV stand, my stand near the front door. Um, we had so much stuff. 
at least four truckloads of stuff was still in our house. And we're like, what are you talking about? And in order for him to take the rest, he said it would cost us another $4,500. And we're like, at this, we can't afford this. This is getting so expensive. We can't afford this. We could have just bought all brand new furniture by this time. So we're like, screw it, just leave it. We're, we're just gonna throw it away. Like we, at this point, we're so stressed out. We don't know what to do. We feel so like just lied to. And so they end up taking our stuff. And, you know, we whenever we sign the paper, he's like, okay, well, when can you receive it? And we're like, okay, well, we'll be in Virginia by Friday. So this is on Tuesday when they show up to move us. And we're like, okay, we'll be there by Friday. He's like, perfect. They're ready to start shipping out. They'll be there on Friday. So me and my husband are now running around like a chicken with our head cut off because not only do we have a house full of crap still that we have to get rid of, but we also have to clean the house before we can leave. So we were planning on being able to leave the next day. That was not going to happen. The movers were there until 1130 at night. The next morning, me and my husband woke up. Not only was my husband sick, but you guys, I ended up getting sick too. I don't think with the flu because I didn't, like my symptoms were different. I just had a lot of head congestion, but I was miserable. I've never had that much congestion. So I felt miserable. My husband felt miserable. We were trying to move all this furniture downstairs and into the garage so my husband's friends from work could offload it whenever they had a chance. So we moved everything into the garage. We cleaned the whole house and we're trying to rush because we're like, crap, we have to get to Virginia by Friday. We load the whole car up, or we load the garage up. We get everything situated. We leave by Wednesday morning. We get out the house. No, not Wednesday, Thursday morning. We spend all Wednesday cleaning and moving this stuff. And then Thursday morning, we get up early. We load up the car. We hit the road. We drive straight through. You guys, it was so exhausting. My husband was driving his truck. I was driving my car. We were both packed to the max. No room for anything else. And we make the 24-hour drive. We get here. We offload our stuff into the house. And then I'm like, you know what? It's kind of weird. I haven't heard from the movers. Let me go ahead and call them and see where they're at. When are they coming? You guys, I call and they're like, oh no, that's just your receiving date of when the clock starts. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I was like, the guy told us that they were ready to go. They would be here within two to three days. And she was like, no, that's not correct. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I was like, not only did the first company, the initial one that I spoke to told me a, a four to six day max window which was a lie, but also the guy told me two to three days and they were ready to go that night after they got our stuff. So they both lied to our faces and she's like, well, it's in your contract. Where's your contract? And I'm like, oh, it's in the fine print of the contract. She's like, yeah, it's all there. You're supposed to read it. And I'm like, well, you know, word of mouth is supposed to mean something and people's word is supposed to stand for something. I was like, so you deliberately lied. I was like, he deliberately lied to my face. I said, not once did anyone say it could take up to 30 days. And she was like, well, I'm sorry. It's all in the paperwork. And I was, you guys, when I say I was boiling, my skin was boiling. So then I like, I'm like, well, I need to know when is my stuff going to show up? She's like, well, I have to get with dispatch and it could take a day or two to hear back and I'll call you on Monday. I'm like, what are you talking about? I was like, all of my kids' school supplies, their book bags, their clothes, their shoes, everything is on there. How are they going to start school? And so she's like, well, let me see what I can do. She comes back and she's like, well, you can pay for expedited shipping. And I was like, are you kidding me? We just spent over 10,000 more dollars than we thought. No, I'm not paying any extra. Y'all should ship this expedited because that's what I was promised. And she was like, well, let me, let me see what I can do. And then she comes back. She's like, I'm sorry, we can't do that. And so we're like, by this time, we are so upset because just everything has been a lie. My husband's like, we need to talk to the manager um, right now. And she's like, well, I'm sorry, none are available. And we're like, well, that's fine. We're just going to get a lawyer. And she's like, well, hold on, hold on. And she comes back. She's like, well, we'll call you back in an hour. 
And of course, they never called us back. And by this point, I'm literally just so upset. I'm like, I don't even like, I didn't even want to deal with it anymore. So as of right now, we have no idea when our things are coming. We don't know how things are being handled because clearly it's not a normal like get in the truck, drive it across the country. They're like shipping it and God knows what. I don't know how our stuff is going to even like come. I don't know if it's going to be in a functionable condition, if everything's going to be broken. Like this is the biggest nightmare. I had no idea like people this happens to people and apparently it does like i posted it on tiktok and apparently this is like a known scam and movers do this to people and i am in utter shock and disgust and i'm just i cannot believe this happened to us and i definitely want to get the word out because it just terrifies me that this could happen to someone else and someone naive like me who has no idea i've never moved across country before and hired movers and it's just it's insane, you guys. So needless to say, this has been a very disappointing move. Of course, we're so happy to be near family, but just the whole process has really been just depressing and just awful, like just so awful, unimaginable. I feel like my head has been in a cloud. Like I just, I can't even believe this is real life, but that's what's been going on and that's why I was a little bit late trying to get another video out. I'm hoping to get back to posting two videos a week for you guys, but yes, please say all the prayers for me because we need it right now. We are so stressed out. We have nothing in the house. Thank God for our family. Um, they, they did bring us like some towels and they made us food and they, they've been so amazing. I don't know what we would have done if it wasn't for them because this has just been a complete nightmare, but that is what's going on with the move. Um, as you can see in the video, I'm still wrapping up everything in the kitchen and I am so thankful that I went and got the bubble wrap and like wrapped up all the glass and I was more careful than I've ever been. Usually I just use like random stuff in the house, like towels and stuff like that. Cause usually our moves aren't that big, but my husband was like, why don't you go ahead and get bubble wrap and stuff? And I'm so happy I did. And I'm just praying that when we get our stuff back, it's going to be not all broken and shattered and Oh my gosh, you guys, this has been a complete nightmare. Also, I did want to say I'm not going to say the names of the companies quite yet just because I'm terrified if, you know, if, you know, if anything starts happening on social media or whatever, I'm just, I don't want the word to get out until I have my things back in hand and just, you know, just make sure I get my stuff back because that is my biggest fear as of right now is I'm so scared. We're just not even going to get our stuff. People on TikTok have been telling me that some people don't even get their things back and they, you know, they were like, you should have put an air tag on it. And I'm just, now I'm so terrified that, you know, are we even going to get our things? I don't know. It's just, it's so much to think about, but I will definitely share the names of the companies afterwards because I'm going to make sure that nobody ever uses them and they never do this to someone else because this is so unfair. It's just, it's sickening that these companies do this to people knowing they're lying straight to their face and they know they're going to screw them over come day of because, you know, that's our thing. Like, if we would have known it was going to be that expensive, we were planning on either getting a pod or just moving it ourselves with a U-Haul truck. But because they were, they sounded so professional and they were going to do it for a great price, we were like, you know what? Why not have someone else do it? Let a professional do it. It's less work. Never in a million years would we have went with a company if we knew we were going to be spending $16,000. That's just insane. We could have refurnished our house for that price. It's just absurd. And I, I want to make sure that this never happens to anyone else.
but I'm sorry. I don't want this video to be a Debbie Downer, so we're gonna turn the mood around. I just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on, and I'm, you know, I'm really going through a tough time right now, but I know that I have the support of my family and my friends and you guys, and I know you guys, like, I already know y'all are gonna be on my side, and so just know I appreciate you guys even before you say anything because I know how supportive y'all are and I know you guys will have my back. So I just want to say ahead of time, I appreciate it. Even the support I've been getting on Instagram and TikTok has been awesome so far. It's just, oh, it's it's been a ride, you guys. It's been a ride. But back to positive, back to motivating. motivating. Um, we are now tackling my um storage containers and everything thankfully you guys know i've decluttered everything so many times where you know anything that didn't have a lid and whatnot has basically already been you know disposed of so i was just kind of going through again making sure everything had a matching lid and then we're also going to be going through our tumblers because you guys know we have so many tumblers more than any person needs so that was definitely one spot where i was going to be getting rid of some donating some and just you know anything that was cracked and messed up dispose of it because we just we had way too much and as i was packing up the kitchen i was realizing like holy cow i'm gonna need more boxes than i thought just for my kitchen alone that definitely was the one space where i had a lot of stuff But like I said, we are in Virginia now, so I'm excited to put out some content soon in the new house. Of course, you know, I don't really have anything in here, so <laughs> whenever I do start recording, it's probably going to be a lot of like basic cleaning because I'm not really going to have like toys to clean up or anything like that. But I'm excited for you guys to see the house. I still need to film a empty house tour, which I have plenty of time clearly now to film that because we don't have any furniture, but I do plan on filming an empty house tour and posting that for you guys. I think I'm going to have one more video of packing um, content before the house tour comes out, but I'm hoping to get that out pretty soon in the next um the next week or so so be on the lookout for that i'm excited for y'all to see the new house and you know for us to start making it a home as of right now it's obviously so super bare uh, i'm so thankful that i decided to bring my computer with me in the car i almost loaded it on the truck and i am so thankful that i decided to keep it with me otherwise i mean phew, it would have been so long before I would have been able to post anything. So I'm super thankful for that. But as you guys can see, it's now the next day. I was actually vlogging this day and trying to take down all the curtains and pictures and pull nails out of the walls. One thing I was really trying to make sure I did before I packed anything up was to dust it, wipe it down, especially like pictures and stuff like that. Things that have been on the wall for a while, they often collect quite a bit of dust. So I was making sure to do that because the last thing you want to do is unpack your things and put a dusty picture on the wall of your new house. So I was making sure I did that along the way.
now it's time to start tackling this closet. I have so much clothes and usually whenever we pack and move, I just take the clothes like with the hanger still on it. I fold it in half and put it in a box. That's typically what I do. But because like I said, the mover said, you know, we only paid for one truck, I really wanted to, you know, try to condense everything down and make it take up as little space as possible. So this time I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and get these vacuum seal bags. And I was putting all of our clothes into that as well as our blankets and pillows. So I went ahead and folded all of my clothes and put them as neatly as possible in these vacuum seal bags. I bought so many of these off of Amazon and these are awesome. I bought some from Target that I really wasn't a fan of. I didn't really like them as much as the ones off of Amazon. Amazon had these nice like seals where you twist them to open them and then you twist them to close them. And I just preferred those more. So I'll definitely be sure to link those for you guys in case you're moving or you're looking for some vacuum seal bags. I really loved those and they were huge. I got the jumbo ones and you got six of them for $16, which was by far the best price that I could find for vacuum seal bags. And they worked amazingly. The downside to taking the clothes off of the hangers was dealing with all the hangers. I ended up putting a post on Instagram and TikTok like asking for help. And I believe I mentioned it in my last video too. Like, what do I do with hangers? And you guys definitely came through. You suggested painter's tape and that's what I did. I did little bundles of hangers. I wrapped them in the um, painter's tape and then we actually put them in the dresser drawers. So they are in the dresser drawers, but unfortunately, you know, we don't have them right now. Um, the bad thing too is whenever they left the girls' dressers behind, both of those were full of hangers. So we're definitely gonna have to buy more hangers because we lost a lot of those along with our dressers. So um, <laughs> gonna have a lot of things that I'm gonna have to buy. This move has definitely turned into a huge money pit y'all i mean i just we never thought we were going to be spending this much money on moving and now we have to buy so much furniture i'm just i'm i'm so overwhelmed i'm so i'm i'm beyond overwhelmed but the hangers i definitely suggest wrapping them in the painter's tape because that did a really good job it held them together and then they were easy to fit in the dresser drawers and they're super light so it didn't add any weight whenever they were moving them. There were definitely so many awesome suggestions with packing and how to label the boxes 
and one of the things that I really wanted to do was number our boxes but because you know I got sick like right before we were about to move and just with everything going on like I just I never got around to numbering our boxes and now I'm really kicking myself in the butt because of everything that just happened I am thankful that I wrote everything on the boxes that way when we get them I'll know what's supposed to be in each box but it's like now I'm not going to know if we're missing anything um but if you guys are moving definitely an amazing idea is to number your boxes so you make sure you get all of them back and another suggestion is to get a notebook and in your notebook you can write down each box what it contains that way you can go back and look at it and if you have any claims or anything gets damaged you'll have everything written out in the book i loved these suggestions i really wish i would have like asked y'all before you know like quite a bit before the move that way I could have planned better and just just had things more organized I just there's just so many things I would have done differently you guys if if I would have known only if I would have known but I'm hoping through my experience hopefully I can at least help someone or prevent someone from going through the same thing so I'm trying I'm really trying to find the positive in this situation the closet is looking empty over here I have all my clothes packed up I did leave out enough stuff for you know moving and everything that way I have clothes but look at all those hangers you guys now it's time to take down all the kids curtains and I definitely needed to wash these before I put them in a box because they were so dusty so that's another great idea if you have time if you're like planning before a move is take your curtains down wash them that way they're fresh and clean for whenever you hang them up in your next home So as for laundry detergent, I'm still using that Zum one and I think I figured out why Adrienne was breaking out in that rash and we think it might have been her new shaving cream. So hopefully it wasn't the laundry detergent. I still need to do like a little test patch on her, but hopefully I can keep using it because I really love that Zum one. If you guys have been looking for an all natural laundry detergent, Definitely check that one out if you like strong scents and they carry it at Target. But we are coming to the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. I upload cleaning motivation every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.
Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the last packing and cleaning content in our house in, o in Odessa, Texas. I can't believe it. I can't believe this is the last time we are going to see this house in a video. It's definitely bittersweet because, you know, we've made so many amazing memories in here, but I'm also really excited to show you guys our new house and just start filming in a new space. I um, wanted to also update you guys in this video on what's going on. If you guys missed the big story, I will put the video up in the cards right here. Otherwise, you probably won't understand what I'm talking about. Um, but I will be doing an update here in just a moment. But first, I want to say I appreciate every single one of y'all who took the time to leave me a comment on my last video. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. And it really just lets me know that I'm not alone in this. Y'all's support has made this just so much easier on me. And not to mention, it was really eye-opening. Like, hearing all of y'all's messages about going through a similar situation or knowing someone who's went through one, I was just so heartbroken for you guys. Like, there are so many people who has went through something like this too, and I am just mad for you guys. I'm sad for you guys. Like, I know all the emotions that you guys went through and i'm so sorry if you went through this too it's awful that these people are allowed to get away with this and i'm just i want to make sure no one else goes through this i want everyone to know like the red flags and the things to watch out for and god forbid if we don't get our things back we will be suing and i will make sure this company We'll never be able to do this to anyone else because it's just, it's wrong. It's so wrong. I don't know how anyone can do this to a family and not feel guilty. Like, how do you sleep with yourself at night? But uh, anyway, you guys, um, as for the video, let me first say what I'm doing in the video because otherwise I'm probably going to get really distracted. So I'm starting off in my bathroom. I needed to go through all the cabinets, pack everything up, and then I also wanted to wipe down the cabinets because I knew once we moved, like obviously you have to leave the house clean. So I knew I was gonna be doing like the floors and the countertops. So I just wanted to make sure every space that I went ahead and took the stuff out of the cabinets or drawers, I just went ahead and wiped them down and cleaned them so I don't even have to stress about it on the day of the move. So that's kind of like my you know, process whenever I'm packing and getting ready for a move is just go ahead and clean the cabinets while you're working in them because you do sometimes forget about things, especially the day of move, like things are just insane. So save yourself um, your, some sanity and just get it done while you're working in that cabinet. Um, but we are going to be doing my bathroom, the kids' bathroom, the miscellaneous things in the kitchen, and we're also going to be packing my bag, um, which is going to have the stuff that, I mean, really, it's the, the only stuff that we currently have right now is what I packed in my red bag, so you'll also get to see that. Um, but that's what's going on in today's video. Um, as for the update of what's going on, so today. So I'm hoping to post this video today for you guys. I'm doing the voiceover right now and then I'm going to upload it. So it's like real time. Um, so as of today, it's been exactly one week since they were supposed to deliver our things. So I'm going to call once again, after I get done uploading this for y'all, I'm going to call again because I have yet to get any update at all. I called them the Friday when we were supposed to get it delivered and they just gave me the runaround, basically told me they don't get updates from dispatch. Um, they have to email dispatch to get an update. And she told me on Friday that she emailed dispatch and she should have an update on Monday. She said it usually takes a day or two. So I called on Monday. I spoke to a different person and that man told me there had been no updates, no email back from dispatch. He said, you just have to wait the seven days because it's a minimum of seven days to get our things. This is what, you know, this company is telling us. So 
I waited two more days and then I was like, you know what? No one has called me because he was like, if we get an update, we will call you. No one called, no one emailed. So then I called again and this time I got the first woman that I talked to and I'm not gonna lie you guys, when I spoke to this woman on Friday, I was heated. I was so upset. I demanded to speak to her manager. I told her we were going to get a lawyer. Like I was angry. I was so angry because I mean, that, that was the moment when it hit me. Like everything that we were told was a lie. So I was just so upset with her. And so I understand like she probably doesn't want to talk to me. So when I called yesterday, I got her on the phone and the, the first thing she said was, oh yes, oh yes, hold on, let me check, let me put you on hold. So she puts me on hold, she comes back and she's like, oh, I just need a few more minutes, I'm checking with dispatch, let me put you on hold. And granted, this doesn't make any sense because she told me on Friday that she can only email dispatch, she can't call them. So I'm like, this doesn't even make any sense. You told me last week you can't call them. So I'm waiting, she gets back on the phone and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, um, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna transfer you to the manager, she'll be able to give you more information. And I was like, okay. And so once again, I sit, wait, and then it goes to supposedly the manager's voicemail. I left a voicemail and I haven't heard anything. So I'm gonna call again today because now it's been officially a week. Um, the good thing is that my husband, whenever he worked in the oil fields, he knew a lot of people that not only owned companies, but they were high up in the oil field. And so all of these people have lawyers and one of our really good buddies, Preston, he was like, here's the name of my lawyer. Give him a call. He will help you. He said that if we don't hear something, get in contact with the lawyer. The lawyer is going to send them a demand letter demanding to get our things. So I'm going to call again today. If I can't get any sort of update, like my thing is like, we have no idea if our stuff has even left Texas. Like we have, we have no idea what's going on. And so I'm like, if we don't get some sort of update, I think that's going to be our first step is sending this demand letter, letting them know we mean business. We will sue like we 1000% like we've already decided if we are missing anything, if anything is like completely destroyed. I mean, obviously like, you know, if our TV, like if a TV is broken, like we will figure that out when it happens. But if we are missing stuff or our stuff does not show up, we will be suing like 1000% because we've already agreed like this should not be allowed to happen and this company should not be operating. I don't know how they have a license. Like their Better Business Bureau rating is in the gutters. There's not a single good review. Like everything is so awful. So I'm like, how are they still operating? And this company is only two years old and they have this many bad ratings. Like it's terrifying, you guys. Like I'm, I'm so terrified and Oh, I'm just praying we get our things back. Like I'm, I just want those irreplaceable things. Like all of my kids' baby pictures, all of the little things that I saved, you know, when they were in school that they made all of my husband's mom stuff. Like she passed away a few years ago. We have everything from his mom. And I'm like, we cannot lose this. Like those are things we can't get back. Like so many pictures. It's just, it's just gut wrenching you guys. And not to mention y'all know, if you've been here for a while, y'all know my husband is a Pokemon collector. He has, I kid you not, over tens of thousands of dollars worth of Pokemon. And I mean, just saying this, it makes me feel so sick. You, I mean, you guys have seen it. The totes that we had upstairs were ginormous. They were like the biggest totes you could get. Not only were they see-through, but the lids, you could just pop them right off. And I'm like, they're going to steal it. Like, I, I'm so terrified. I'm like, just that alone, we have spent thousands of dollars on over the years. Like, my husband has collected so many things. They're all like professionally bubble wrapped and in cases. And like, it makes me so sick, y'all. And I'm like, it's see-through. Like, we left it in a see-through Tupperware thinking we could trust these people and so like I'm just I'm praying by some miracle like please God let all of our things show up 
but it's just it's sickening it's so sickening you guys i just can't even believe this is reality but once i have any sort of update like an actual update of course i'm going to keep you guys in the loop i'm going to let you know what's going on but i just i just can't believe this is a thing that actually happens not only did they screw us over on money but you know just reading the reviews like people have never gotten their things back or they like auctioned off their things it is sickening i just i cannot so that's the update on that i'm holding it together um you know i'm just so thankful not only for y'all but being near family if this would have happened where we were moving and not moving near family i don't know if i would even be able to function honestly like my family has been so awesome they have like rallied together they brought us like all the you know some of the essentials we need to get by we are getting near the end of all the packing now it's kind of the tedious stuff the little things where you're like what do i do with this how do i pack it and you just kind of need to throw everything into a box so that's what i'm doing today i do have a big chunk of the kitchen i need to go ahead and pack up i meant to get paper plates and plastic forks and stuff so I'm gonna have to go pick that up because obviously I don't wanna keep using dishes because we need those packed away. So definitely need to run to the store sometime today so I can do that. I also need to start packing up my cleaning supplies. I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave out like an all-purpose spray, a wood cleaner, a floor cleaner, a glass cleaner, and then pack away everything else just because I am gonna wanna clean after the house is empty, but I don't wanna have too much stuff that I have to bring with me in my car. They rallied together and had some friends like donate not only clothes, but like essential items. My sister was so sweet and I like told her a million times, I was like, don't do it. No, it's fine. But she insisted, she, you know, had mentioned what was going on on her social media. And if you guys don't know, my sister also, um, she does social media, but she does TikTok and Instagram. And she has quite a large following over there. And she was like, no, I really want to like help you. I want to post about it. And so she was posting about it. And so many people were, I mean, just so amazing. Like you guys are just like social media. There's so many amazing things about it. Like we really come together and help each other out in times of need. And everyone was so sweet and wanted me to put together an Amazon wish list. So I made a little Amazon wish list of just like basics, like soap, countertop spray, sponges, clothes for the kids. Cause my kids have to start school. They have no clothes. I still have to go buy them shoes because they, we literally packed Crocs. Like we packed our traveling shoes because we thought we were getting our things, you know, two to three days. So it was, it was just so amazing to see just how willing everyone is to help out. And it just shows like everyone is so amazing, like so sweet. You guys are freaking amazing. You have made this so much easier on me because honestly i would probably be in a ball crying if it wasn't for everyone's awesome support so if you guys happen to follow us on instagram and you bought something off of my wish list just know i truly appreciate it and i just never in a million years thought you guys would come through the way you did and i mean i just tear up every time like just knowing you guys did so much for me it truly means the world and i like as much as, you know, I love to think like my videos motivate you guys, like you guys seriously feel like family. Like you just, you're so amazing in so many ways. So I just love, I love this community. So I don't want to cry, but I hope you guys know from the bottom of my heart, like y'all are freaking awesome. And I don't know what I would do without y'all or my family. So just know I appreciate you guys even just leaving comments and the support it just makes it just so much easier on me so thank you so much I truly appreciate it
this is the first like craft thing that I ever painted at this pottery place. And as you can tell, it is oh so beautiful. This is the second time I followed the instructions and it turned out so much better. It's so stinking cute. I wanna use this one day for like some lemonade or something, but I'm like, am I ever gonna use this? I don't know, maybe as a joke, but <laughs> I guess I'm gonna pack it. Okay. I got myself together. I do not want to be a blubbering mess. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I'm a freaking crier. Like I'm, I'm such a baby, but that's okay. It means we have emotions, <laughs> but I don't want this video to be sad. I don't want you guys to like, I don't want y'all to feel bad. Like I don't want you to feel bad. We're going to get through it one way or another. And I'm going to make sure this company just never does this to anyone else because it just, it makes me so angry, but Let's, let's move on to happier things. Um, so update on the kids getting into school. We have had a little hiccup on that too. Trying to get not only the old school to transfer school records has been challenging, um, but they finally got the school records. It took quite a few days. They got the school records, but unfortunately, Austin was like missing some of his shot records, which doesn't make sense because I know he has all of them because we had to get them before they started school. And then not only were they missing like parts of their shot records, but then also they were missing physicals. And I'm like, I know my kids have all of this. It's just, I'm like the, the school that they went to was taking so long to send everything over. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take the kids to go get physicals. So I found a place that, um, could do it that day. It was an urgent care. So I brought them into the urgent care last night, got their physicals done. And then I was like, you know what? The fastest thing to do to like get them into school, because they already told me they were like without shot records, without a physical, they still won't let the kids start, which is crazy craziness. I'm like, they have been going to public school for so long. Like this, it just doesn't make sense to me. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to sign the religious exemption because that way I don't even have to stress about shot records anymore. So the nurse told me, cause I mentioned that to her. I was like, can I just sign that and then be done with it so they can start? And she was like, well, yeah, you could just talk to the doctor whenever you get the physical. So I go to the doctor, get the physical. And then I'm like, okay, I need to sign that form to exempt them. And they're like, oh no, that has to be notarized. And I was like, what? Like the school nurse told me that you guys could do it. Like and when I went online, it says you either get it notarized or you have a physician signed off, like sign off on it. And I'm like, why are you like, I was like, why can't you just do this? And they were like, well, I'm not sure how that works. We've never done it before. Um, you're going to have to get in touch with the health department. And of course, by the time that I like went to the doctors, it was already like 5 PM. So all the offices were closed. So I'm like, it's just, everything has been so challenging you guys it's just like one thing after another i'm like can anything go smoothly like honestly at, at this point like I, I i just need something to go smoothly in my life because things are just like piling up but so i ended up talking to my sister because my sister works in um a hospital and so she is a notary and so i was like oh my gosh that would be so amazing like can you notarize this for me so as soon as I get done posting this video, I'm going to get myself dressed and we're going to head to my sister-in-law's and she is going to notarize the papers. So then I can finally take all these papers up to the school, hopefully get the kids fully like ready to go so they can start school on Monday. But yeah, I mean, it's just been crazy. Like everything has been so challenging, but hopefully the kids will be starting school next week which is nice. It'll give me the weekend to go find them some shoes because that's the last thing I need to do is find them shoes. So we're going to go look for some shoes this weekend. Hopefully things will start calming down. I've been so busy. You guys, like I have barely had time to like film any cleaning so far. I've only filmed me cleaning the kitchen in this house because I've, it's just like all the little things, like all the little things and the errands and we went and got couches because we had to throw away our couches. Um, the movers couldn't fit our couches on there. So we had to buy couches because we have no couches coming. So one day we had to go couch hunting. Like it's just been so like chaotic. It's just, 
I'm so ready for a routine. You guys know I'm a huge routine person. I like to know like what's going on. I like to stay organized. And right now my life just feels so chaotic and I don't function good with chaos. So I'm just ready for things to calm down. I'm ready to get into a routine. So hopefully soon I will get into a routine because I really need that right now. Um, and then the last thing that I need to update y'all on is our house. So you guys know that we are trying to either sell it or rent it out. Either one, we just need someone in it because at this point, not only do we have the stress of paying for the movers and all of that, but we also have two mortgages. Well, we have a rent and a mortgage. And so that's another thing that's been, you know, stressing us out. Like, what are we going to do? How are we going to pay for all this? So, uh, thank God, you guys, thank God. Two nights ago, my property manager for our house in Texas, she texted me and she was like, Hey, we have a client who's looking for just a six to nine month lease. We thought, or this is what they told us. They were like, Oh, they want a six to nine month lease because they're building a house in the same neighborhood, but it's going to take six to nine months for it to get done. And I was like, that would actually be perfect because then we could rent it out. They could pay our mortgage and then near the end of their lease, we could put it back up for sale and see if it will sell. So that's kind of like what we were thinking. So the people come, they look at our house and they love it. And they're like, yes, but we want to buy it. So we're like, oh my gosh, like that would be awesome. But the kicker is that they want to do a six to nine month lease and then try to buy at the end of it. And, you know, me and my husband were like, well, that's kind of weird. Like, why wouldn't they just want to buy it? Well, after running credit and stuff, um, I guess their credit isn't amazing. And that's kind of what their goal is in the next six to nine months. They want to build their credit. So hopefully they can buy it. We're doing the last little things. My husband is wrapping up all the TVs, the electronics, um, the computers, all that stuff. I am about to throw my clothes for the week into my bag. And then I have to go get the boys stuff, put it into my bag. And then I need to run up to Walmart because we ran out of bubble wrap. I went up to U-Haul yesterday and I got one more thinking it was gonna be enough, but definitely wasn't. So I'm gonna run up to Walmart, get some more bubble wrap. I have a few things in the kitchen that need to be wrapped in bubble wrap. Plus we have like liquor bottles and stuff. So we definitely are gonna need more. And yesterday we went and got two new ceiling fans. I don't think I told y'all this, but the three fans upstairs when we moved into this house, there was no fans. So we went to Lowe's and got the same fans for all three bedrooms. And we didn't realize and didn't really think about it, but they all ran on a remote. And so when we would press the button for one, it controlled all three. So the kids were constantly turning off each other's lights, turning off each other's fans. It was a mess. We were always like playing, you know, put the switch down, press the button. and. It was so frustrating. We have been wanting ceiling fans since we put them in, but my husband does not like putting in ceiling fans, so we just sucked it up. But now, since we're gonna either sell or rent the house out, we wanna make sure you know they don't have that issue. So my husband picked up some ceiling fans. We installed those last night. I also painted the entire game room wall because my husband had all his gaming stuff up on there, and when we took it off, it like took off the paint. So I painted that wall last night. We got done at like midnight, woke up at 7.30 and we have been hustling. So we are so excited that we are definitely, well, not definitely, we haven't, like the paperwork hasn't went through, but it looks like we are gonna have renters in there who possibly will buy the house at the end of their lease. That's, you know, gonna depend on them and how everything goes and you know, who knows? You never know what can happen in six to nine months. But I'm just so thankful we're going to most likely have renters in there. I'll let you guys know when it's official, but that has definitely taken a weight off of our shoulders. I don't know how somehow I missed my bottom drawer full of pants. So I'm gonna put that in a vacuum seal bag. I've also been washing all of the bedding and I need to vacuum seal that too. So I'm just gonna start throwing everything together.
y'all. It is much later. I had to run up to U-Haul, get more bubble wrap, went to Walmart to get bread. Now I'm back so I can get back to wrapping because I still have some of the kitchen stuff that needs bubble wrap. So got that, th got that taken care of. The realtor came by. So now it's time to finish up this packing. And I'm just literally like washing everything and just sticking it into a vacuum bag and we'll sort it once we get there. I feel like my life has gotten so crazy just in the last couple weeks. I'm like, is this even reality? Like, I'm like, this feels like a freaking TV show. It's just pure chaos. And I want you guys to know that I appreciate y'all being here, tagging along for all this craziness. And I'm going to try my hardest to get to a schedule and stick to it. You guys know I'm a schedule person. So... It's like, it's driving me crazy that my videos are like not really on a schedule right now, but I know right now life is just, you know, it's chaotic. Hopefully soon it'll calm down, but I'm going to try to continue to do two cleaning videos a week. That's my goal. But you know, obviously right now things are a bit crazy and not to mention with nothing in my house, I'm like, what am I going to clean for you guys? Like all I have are floors, walls, and countertops. <laughs> and some dishes so um i just hope you guys bear with me and i hope you still come around to watch my videos even though i might not have furniture for who knows how long um i hope you guys will still come and watch but i just want you to know i appreciate y'all you guys are freaking the best But we are now at the end of the video. The last thing I did was show you guys how I ended up bunching up the hangers and I used painter's tape like you guys suggested. This was such an awesome idea. Hopefully we get our hangers back because I put them in the dressers. So we did lose a lot of hangers because we ended up having to throw away both of my girls dressers because they didn't fit on the truck. So we lost dressers and all the hangers, but this idea was awesome. If you guys are looking for a way to, you know, move your hangers around, this is a great way and put them in your dresser because they're super light. So it won't add weight to them, but that's going to do it. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. I upload one to two videos every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Hey guys, welcome to my first cleaning video in the new house. I am so excited. We are finally here in Virginia. 
Of course, the circumstances could be so much better, but nonetheless, we are so excited to finally be in the new house. If you're new here, this is a rental. We are renting it at least for one year. We're hoping just for one. And then after that, we're going to look into buying again. We just, we still have our house in Texas and we're trying to either sell it or rent it. So just for right now, renting is the most financial smart decision, especially with the market right now. But if you guys missed the empty tour video I recently posted, I will put it up in the cards for you guys so you can see the whole house if you're interested in that. But in today's video, we are going to be doing just a lot of basic cleaning. Like you guys know, we still don't have our furniture, which I will talk about updates here in a little bit but we don't have that much furniture in the house. So there really isn't like tons of messes to be made, especially because the kids don't have their toys. We just, you know, everything is in shambles, but there is plenty of clutter everywhere. So we're gonna be tackling tons of cluttering in today's video, some cleaning. We're gonna be tackling not only my kitchen, but also some packages that I'm opening. I need to put away some things. We're going to be completely cleaning my master bedroom because that was honestly stressing me out the most. My sister was so sweet and she's letting me borrow a wax warmer and her diffuser. So I have this liquid. It smells really good. And then she gave me just like, you know, her little extras that she has. Just so sweet of her. You guys know I love my house to smell good. So I'm really excited to get these set up. And we'll also be tackling some bathrooms as well. So that's what we're gonna get, be getting into today. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know how is your week starting off. I know my schedule has been a little wonky. I typically try to upload on Fridays and Sundays, but as of right now, it's probably gonna be a little all over the place because I'm trying to get into just a new routine and get everything set up at the new house. So bear with me. I do try to keep you guys posted on the community tab when my videos will be going up. So in case you're ever wondering, make sure you check my community tab because I do try to keep y'all as up to date as possible. But as you guys can see, I'm starting off by just getting the clutter out of the kitchen. We have been so blessed with family, friends, and my amazing YouTube and Instagram community. You guys have really been helping us out so much and gifting us not only with Amazon packages, but family has been donating clothes and just like random items, which has really helped us because it's all the little things that you don't really think about, you go to reach for them and you're like, crap, I can't do this because I don't have this item. So it's just been so amazing to see just how loving everyone is. And it's just heartwarming. Like it's so heartwarming and I am so appreciative. So this house is starting to feel more like a home. We actually have things so I can cook again and just do the small basic things. Of course, the kids have been driving me insane because they're so bored. Thank goodness we have their iPads, but besides that, we really don't have much for them. But because of all the amazing donations and stuff, I have been trying to just figure out a way to organize everything since we really don't have any dressers or cabinets besides, you know, the built-in ones. I'm trying to just figure out a way to store everything in the meantime until we hopefully get our things back. So all the stuff that was on the countertop was kind of like the little bit of tools that we packed in our vehicles whenever we drove here. So I went ahead and put them in that storage closet right there. I'm not sure exactly what I plan to put in that closet, but for right now, I just put those things over there. I'm also storing like our toilet paper and paper towels. I'm not, once again, I don't know if I'm loving it right there, but I figure I have, you know, plenty of time to reorganize. I just wanted to get the clutter off of the counters because you guys know clutter stresses me out and makes me feel so anxious. So it was just time. I was so ready to just clean and get the house organized and fresh and clutter free because my anxiety was through the roof, especially with everything going on. It's 
it's just like I've been running so many errands and I haven't had time to just stop and clean the house, which you guys know I clean the house so many times a day. So it's just, it's felt so weird. Like my routine has just been so thrown off, but I feel like things are finally starting to calm down a little bit. I have Austin and Adrian um, currently enrolled in elementary school. They're finally going to be starting on Tuesday. They were hoping to get them in a little bit sooner, but we had some issues with shot records and physicals. Our previous school is giving us such a difficult time. I don't know what is going on with them, but the new schools have been requesting transcripts and shot records and you know, all the typical things. And they keep screening their calls, sending them to voicemail. So we have had a lot of issues trying to get all the paperwork that we needed. So I ended up having to take the kids to all go get physicals. I knew my kids had their shots, but you know, it was like, my, we have moved numerous times. So we have had a lot of different doctors in a lot of different cities and trying to track down all their shot records. There was just no way, like with everything going on, I was like, it, there's no possible way. This is why I give all this information to the school. That way it's convenient, conveniently in one place. And my kids, you know, when we switch schools, we just transfer everything and everything's good to go. Well, because their previous school is being so difficult, um, partial of the shot records for Austin are missing. And so they were like, he can't start without that. So, you know, I just decided, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to file for the religious exemption. That is the fastest thing I can do to get them enrolled in school, get things going because otherwise, like, I don't know how long it's going to take. So thankfully I was able to get Austin and Adrian enrolled, but unfortunately, when the old school sent the transcripts over, they only sent Aubrey's elementary transcripts and she's in middle school. And so the school is like, well, we can't start her until we have all her transcripts. And so as of right now, Aubrey is the only one that needs to be registered. It's just become a total mess. I'm, I'm just like, why? Why can't things go smoothly? Like everything has just been so difficult and I'm just, yeah, I'm ready for things to calm down. I'm excited. At least two of the kiddos will be starting school. They are, you know, just ready because they're so bored sitting at home. So they're actually really excited. It is so crazy filming in a new space and just trying to figure out my angles and how I want to film everything, the new lighting. It was just so, it was so weird, but also, you know, fun to mix it up a little bit. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to load the dishwasher in this house because it's just weird. It's like behind you when you're doing the dishes. So that definitely throws me off. Meet me at the avenue. Here is the aftermath of us doing an unboxing. So my sister did a post about everything that's going on with the move and everyone was so sweet. They wanted to help out and they wanted me to make a Amazon wish list. So this is everything that I got in from the Amazon wish list. I need to go ahead, pick it up and clean up my mess from the unboxing. I had quite the mess over here to clean up, which I am so grateful for. But what I started doing was just taking all of the like paper, bubble wrap, anything that was inside of the boxes. I wanted to bag it up, throw it away. And here in Virginia, they actually have recycling. So I can finally break down boxes, recycle them, which is so nice. I hate it in Texas. We never had a recycling bin. And I just thought it was so crazy. I'm like, why isn't this a thing for every area? I feel like this is a must. But I'm breaking down the boxes, piling them up. Our recycling bin is already full. So we're just currently stacking them into the garage. 
and we're thinking about taking them up to the actual like dump recycling place because it's right down the road. So we might be doing that soon because the boxes are really starting to pile up. absolutely love the new laundry basket that we got it is so sturdy and really cute i haven't quite decided if i want to keep it in my room or if this is going to go in the laundry room but i love it so much and it's definitely going to help us out because we only have one laundry basket that we brought with us it was my collapsible one so that is the only laundry basket we literally had to throw away all of them in the move because the movers did not pack any of them so i am so thankful and grateful for this laundry basket my sister also lent me some of hers because we're just kind of toting our laundry either to my sister's house or my parents' house, and they have been so amazing and washing my clothes for me. And then I just go pick them up or they drop them off to me, which has really helped us out because the first time I did laundry, I went over there and it took me four hours. And I was like, man, like as grateful as I am to be doing laundry at their house, I'm like, there's so much I need to get done. Like it's so time consuming. You guys know how it is. Like just sitting and waiting for your clothes to get done. So I was like, man, there has to be a better way. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get anything else done but the laundry. So I was really debating between like going to a laundry mat, that way I could just throw it all into like, you know, the big washers, wash them all at once. But my family was like, no, like just drop them off. We don't mind. So that has been a huge blessing for us. abstract yeah it's complicated what you say the way you act well it makes me so confused i don't know now it's time to tackle these stairs they are so dirty i have been wanting to clean them for quite a few days but just haven't gotten around to cleaning so i'm just going to be using my dyson vacuum i'm so glad i packed this in my car you guys i'm grateful that you know it's easy to take apart so it really didn't take up that much space I don't have the stand for it, but at least I have the charger. I have a few of the pieces. I just have the carpet piece, the hard floor piece, and then also like the little tip so you can vacuum up like edges and stuff. So those are the only attachments that I brought with me, but I'm just so glad I have this because I love my Dyson vacuum. So it made it pretty easy to vacuum the stairs. The stairs are hard and they definitely like just get like smudges on them and stuff. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to clean them. I don't want to use like pledge or anything because I'm like, someone's going to fall down the stairs. It's going to be super slippery. So I'm thinking probably just like a regular all purpose cleaner or a mopping cleaner, but I need to go back and either mop them or wipe them down because they still look so dirty, but at least the crumbs are up. But now it's time to head into the kids' bathroom. And of course, per usual, it's covered in toothpaste. So I'm gonna go ahead, get all the toothpaste cleaned up and get this bathroom back in order.
So an update on our things and what's going on with that is that unfortunately we have no update. I tried calling them quite a few times over this last week and every single time I spoke to them, they told me the same thing. They said, oh, we have a seven to 30 day window and that they're still in the window and there's no update. So on Friday, I asked them like, okay, so what does no update exactly mean? Like, what does that mean? And he was like, well, that means your stuff hasn't been loaded. It hasn't been shipped. It hasn't left. So I'm like, what? Like, I don't understand how our stuff isn't even loaded. Like, I thought that's what they did the day that they picked up our things. So I'm just, I'm so confused what's going on. I plan on calling again on Monday and asking them, like, where are my things at? Like, I want to know, like, are they sitting in a crate? Like, where are they? I just, I don't understand what the heck is going on. So I just, I need more information. It's driving me insane that they literally just keep telling me there's no update and I just have to wait for them to call me. It's ridiculous, you guys. At this point, it's been over a week and a half now that um, they were supposed to deliver our things. So we're just kind of waiting it out and the contract. So the initial contract we signed, I have no way to view it. It was an email and when you would click on it, you could view it. Well, magically after we moved, when you click on it, it says, oh, your things have already been packed and you can't view anything now. So I'm like, how convenient. And of course I printed it, but I packed it on the freaking truck. So I'm so mad at myself that I didn't, I didn't bring it with me. I, I had no idea this was going to be a problem. So it just sucks. I have no way to view that. It is now the next day. Last night we actually had my sister Courtney over, my sister Danielle and all the cousins and we got to barbecue. My husband ended up having to buy a grill because we had to throw away our grill. So we bought a new grill and my husband was so excited to use it and cook for everyone. So we had them over last night and I told my sister, she was like, I really want to clean. I'm like, no, just, just leave it because you guys, I really don't have like, like, of course I can clean the floors and the counters, but like, I don't have that much clean because I don't have furniture. So I was like, leave the mess. I will film it again. So I'm sorry you're gonna see me clean the kitchen two times in this video, but I hope you guys bear with me. I'm like, I really don't have like too, too much to do, but I'm gonna clean the kitchen and then I got some hangers. So I'm finally gonna hang up a lot of the clothes that we have been gifted or that has been purchased for us. I also went to Once Upon a Child and bought the kids some clothes. So I need to get those hung up. So we'll do that after I clean the kitchen. But I just wanted to tell you guys like, sorry you're gonna see me clean the kitchen twice in this video because that's really all I have. <laughs> so I think my sister too, she is so freaking sweet. She's washing my clothes for me. And I was like, don't worry about folding them. Like bring them over here or I can fold them over there. So hopefully I'll have some laundry to do too. And then the second contract, which I wouldn't even call it a contract. It was the company that loaded our things up. They wrote out a paper that basically said how much we would pay, what they're responsible for. And it was like a list of inventory of what was, you know, what they took, which you can't even see. It's so faded. It's so light. And when he handed it to me, he was like, oh, don't worry. You'll get a better copy later. That was his exact words. So whenever I signed that paper, you know, agreeing to the outrageous number that they gave us, they quoted us, you know, 10,000 more than the initial one. So on the back of that paper, that company says they have seven to 21 business days. And so we're just kind of like, I mean, what do we do? I mean, we signed the paper. So I mean, we're thinking like legally we have to wait at least those 21 business days before we can, you know, claim it as stolen or, you know, take legal action. So we're just kind of, we're just in limbo right now and it really freaking sucks. Like we just, we don't know what to do. It's just a waiting game and it's awful not knowing what the heck is going on.
I am still trying to figure out the best way to load this dishwasher. I love that it's in the cabinets, but because it's like split up and divided, I feel like it's hard to fit the things. So it's going to take some time to adjust, but I'm starting to get the hang of using this thing. I just wish it wasn't behind me when I did the dishes because I feel like I drip water all over the floor, all over the cabinet because I'm having to close one to load the other and yeah, it's, it's definitely new. My sister Courtney does TikTok and Instagram and she was sent this pot and pan set, the one that I'm washing right here, and she had an extra one. So thankfully she was able to lend me the whole set, which has been amazing. And I am falling in love with this set. I mean, they work so good. It, they're nonstick. They're so easy to clean. I really love this set. I know she got it off of TikTok shop, so I'll have to let you guys know what the brand is but I definitely would recommend them because I'm loving cooking with them. So while I was getting the kitchen cleaned up, Adrian was going to help me make breakfast. I picked up some cinnamon rolls for the kids, so they were so excited for me to get started on cooking it. So Adrian was like, I can start it. So we had her get them on the pan. It was so cute though. She could not figure out how to open the cinnamon roll package. So I showed her, you know, the secret of beating it on the side of the countertop. <laughs> This stovetop has to be the coolest thing ever. If you guys are on the market for looking for a stovetop or redoing your kitchen or whatever, you should definitely look into this Frigidaire one. I didn't even know this was a thing, but whenever we first moved in, you know, you have to do like the checklist of, you know, go around the house, make sure everything works, see if anything needs to be fixed. Well, me and my husband were checking out the stovetop and we were trying to figure out how to work it because we could not figure out how to get it going and come to find out that the stovetop is actually um, like sensor sensitive. So it will not turn on unless it has a pot or pan on the spot. So I thought that was genius. Like that is the best invention ever because 
even though it has a touch screen and it also has a lock on it, even when the lock isn't on, if, if we were to press the buttons and try to turn it on, it will not heat up unless it senses a pot there. So I love that. I thought that was so cool and it works really good. It heats up like they have this button to do, I think it's called like a power boil, I believe is what it's called. But you press that button and your water starts boiling so fast. I'm in love with this stove top. Look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars, like so many times before. And I know that we're not perfect, but I'm gonna miss all that we had. Yeah, I know that we're not perfect, but I need this night for the last time. Stay. I was able to get the kitchen all cleaned up and then I actually took all the kiddos to the outlet um, to do some shopping for shoes because the kids don't have any school shoes. So we went out there shopping with my sister. We got the kids shoes for school. They were so excited. And then by the time we got done, thankfully Courtney had ran my laundry. So I went and picked it up, brought it home so I could start folding it. Also in my previous video, I mentioned that we had to buy some new couches. We finally have them in. So these are our new couches we got from Rooms To Go. We are obsessed with them because it has a extra like built-in, of course you can like recline them back, but it also has lumbar support. So you can like pump up the back of it so you can sit up straighter. And let me tell you, it is life-changing. They are so comfortable. These are probably the best couches we've ever had. I'm loving it. And all the armrests have little pull out hidden cup holders, which I thought was just really neat. So we're gonna start in my closet. This is what we have going on. These are all my clean clothes that my stepmom um, washed and folded for us. She's so freaking amazing. Um, she also gave me like some extra clothes of hers to borrow. So I need to go through that. Um, my husband like put all his stuff on the shelving. This is also some other clothes that my stepmom is letting me borrow. Um, some of my stuff too. That's the stuff I just folded. So. I do have hangers. I'm going to go find those and we're going to hang up as much as we can and just try to get this a little bit more organized because having these baskets, it's honestly stressing me out because I don't know like what's in them. And then when I'm trying to look for something, it's like, it's just a hot mess. So I'm going to try to pull all this stuff out of the basket and get it a little organized in here. I was so excited to get started doing this. I had recently picked up some hangers from Target. I got three bundles, so I put one in my room, I gave one to the boys, and then one to, I believe, Adrian. We are so grateful. We had someone purchase off of our Amazon wish list a big bundle of, um, I think it was like 50 count hangers. So those are gonna be coming in soon, and I am so excited because I cannot wait to start organizing all of the kids' bedrooms. Mine was really stressing me out, so I wanted to get that, you know, get that done immediately. But the next thing on my list are the kids' rooms because they, I mean, they looked just like mine. They had stuff all over the floor, clothes everywhere. So we are so ready to start getting things organized. So I can't wait to get those hangers in. That will likely be in the next video. I'll be getting the kids' bedrooms like 
just more organized, get the clothes off of the floor, hung up, and then probably soon we're gonna have to start looking for dressers for both of the girls. Unfortunately, we had to throw out both of their dressers because they wouldn't fit on the moving truck. So we have to purchase new ones anyway. So I'm like, you know what, I guess we can start looking that way. You know, we can just start making this house feel a little bit more homey since, I mean, we don't have anything else in here. So it'd be nice to get some dressers, start getting things organized and, you know, just make the kids feel like this is their new home and not just like an Airbnb or something. Now that the closet is done, it's time to tackle this bedroom. As you can see, I just have stuff everywhere. We still have the luggages I haven't fully unpacked and I needed to put the sheet on the bed. My parents are letting us borrow their bed set from um, their, spare, their spare bedroom. So that's what we're currently using and she gave us some sheets to put on it. They're definitely not the right size, but at least I was able to like wrap it around the whole bed and it's been working good for right now, but we are so ready to get our bed back. This bed is so tiny. So it's definitely been, um, you know, a little more difficult sleeping at night, but way better than an air mattress. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without, oh, his eyes are killing me. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that. Oh, his smile is killing me. It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs. So I can't get enough. I'm thinking about him all the time. I can get him off my mind. I had just like some random trash over here. I have the cord that goes to my Peloton bike too. So I went ahead and just stuck that in my luggage, zipped it up. That way I don't lose it. And you know, I can remember where I put it at. And then I'm going to go ahead and empty everything out of here. I mainly just had the boys clothes left in here. So I needed to fully unpack, go put their clothes in their room. And then I'm just going to be putting the luggage up in the closet and putting, you know, the smaller one inside of this. That way it doesn't take up as much space in the closet. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him, na, 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 na. Oh, 
So you were also sent some really nice bathroom rugs. So I was so excited to put these in. We have been borrowing the ones that are currently in the bathroom right here. We've been borrowing those from my parents' friends, Kim and Larry. They were so awesome. They lent us towels and bathroom mats and all kinds of stuff. They were just, they were amazing. But I wanted to go ahead and pick those up you know go take them to my sisters so we can wash them and start giving things back that way you know just get the house a little bit more in order and i love these rugs you guys they are so super soft they had a bunch of different colors but i love white and i thought it would just go really well in the bathrooms and i feel like white is also easy to you know take care of because you can just throw some bleach in there and get them all nice and white again yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be better catching if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you. And I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want, if you want. It is so weird not having any carpet in the house. I didn't realize like so when we moved in the floors were clean but I guess just for me like brushing my hair brushing the kids hair there was literal tumbleweeds of hair on the floor when I picked up my shorts off of the floor I was like oh my gosh this is disgusting so I definitely needed to vacuum and I went ahead and pulled out my new of cedar little Swiffer mop thing so I could mop the floors and get this bedroom completely cleaned this made such a big difference, you guys. It makes me feel so much better now when I walk into our bedroom. It's just more relaxing and tranquil feeling because before it was just stressing me out with all the clutter all over the place. The next thing I need to pick up are some replacement pads for the Ocedar mop because I started thinking I'm like crap. I'm going to have to have at least two or three of these because I'm going to have to take them, you know, to my sister's house to wash them and it's probably going to take a little while to get them back. So, I need to pick up some more replacement pads, but I found that Ocedar mop at Walmart and I'm loving it. It feels like it's really good quality. It should last me a long time. I was so upset I had to leave behind my brand new Swiffer mop that I just got off of Timu, and I loved that one too, but it didn't fit on the truck and we couldn't fit it in our car. We were, you know, slam packed with things. All these years, you've been mine. It wasn't easy, but we worked it out. All those tears, ups and downs, I swear it's been the best ride of my life. Last area I wanted to tackle today was my bathroom. I just wanted to wipe everything down. I needed to definitely take out the trash because it was overflowing and just get the countertops clutter free. It is driving me crazy having just like so many random things inside the cabinets underneath here. I so badly want to go get some like organization bins or something because everything is just stacked up. So if you accidentally like knock one thing down, they all start falling. But hopefully soon I will get all of my containers and stuff because I'm like, I don't want to buy any because I have so many. So I'm trying to hold out and just wait. Only blue skies ahead. And it was it all bad, baby. Look at where we began. Make it out in my room. Nobody had a clue. Sneaking out past curfew. We were only 17. Then I say I love you. But we knew it was true. To this day, I still do. Love you like I'm 17. Time went by. Oh, so fast. Back then, we didn't know this love would last. 
I picked up this really nice like bronze colored trash can and matching toilet brush for the bathrooms. I love it. I think it matches just like the bathroom style so well, especially with our fancy little bidet over there. <laughs> but I thought these were super cute and really affordable. I got them at Walmart, so I'll be sure to link them for you guys. They are super cute. But we are now coming to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd love for you to subscribe. I upload at least one to two cleaning videos every single week, and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a super surprising one if you guys have been following me through this crazy whole moving situation you guys know that we were told you know getting our things from our movers would take 70 to 30 days and I had been calling them almost every single day to get updates and I kept getting the same you know response of there's no update. We will call you when there's an update. And so, you know, I just kept calling because I was like, I don't have time to wait around. I need to know. Well, things changed so quickly. It was Monday of this week. I called them to check in to see if there was any updates. And I was super shocked because she was like, oh yes, that's actually in transit. It'll take roughly four to five days to get your things. And I was like, okay, perfect. Awesome. So I, you know, go about my day, do my things, not even, I kid you not, like four hours after making the phone call, I get another phone call and it's the delivery guy saying like, oh, I'm bringing your stuff tomorrow. And I'm like, what? So shocked, so surprised. So they, you know, ended up, it was a whole ordeal. If you guys want the full story, definitely check out my vlogging channel. But basically, they wanted me to have cash, and I was like, definitely not. So the only other thing they would take was a postal money order. So I ended up having to rush around, go get the money orders because they were coming the next morning. And so right here is the morning of when the movers were coming. I was rushing around like a mad person because we just had piles of clothes everywhere. You know, we didn't have anything to put them in. We really didn't have that many hangers. I had just gotten hangers in the mail from one of my amazing subscribers who purchased off of my Amazon wish list. You know who you are, thank you so much, but I had just gotten those in, so I was really excited to get things hung up, but didn't realize I was gonna have to, you know, do it so quickly. So I'm rushing around trying to pick up the clothes off of the floor. I needed to deflate the blow up mattresses. That way they had a place to put all of the boxes and the furniture. So this is the morning and they told me they were coming between eight and 10. So right now, I think it was around nine o'clock and I was like, okay, I have an hour. I'll, you know, have enough time to at least clear the floors in the kids' bedrooms. But they ended up texting me and saying, oh, we're 10 minutes away. So I only end up getting the boys room done. And then I had Aubrey like while I was talking to the movers and stuff, Aubrey was still out of school. So she went ahead and like handled Adrian's bedroom and her room and like deflating the mattresses but it was a very hectic and crazy morning to say the least so the video is going to start off with me clearing the bedroom and then you guys are going to see what my house looks like and the um like how the boxes are how they ended up moving our things you'll get to see that all in today's video and yeah how all that plays out All these 
So what I'm doing is just folding up all of their pants, boxers, socks, putting them on the top shelf, and then hanging up all of their shirts. Thankfully, I was able to keep the boys dresser that fit on the truck. So I knew I was gonna be able to put everything into a dresser once it showed up. Unfortunately, we do have to buy both of the girls a new dresser um, in the near future because we had to get rid of both of them because they wouldn't fit on the truck. So really stinks we're gonna have to do that. I'm trying to just get ideas and find affordable ones. The girls wanna be like involved in picking out their dressers. So I'm also like letting them look at uh, different ideas and figuring out like what we're gonna do, what we want it to look like. I'll definitely let you guys know what we decide. The air mattress was so dirty. The boys ended up kicking the sheet off of it and never put it back on. So there was like fuzzies and grass and all kinds of stuff stuck to it because the air mattress is that like weird velvety material. So everything sticks to it and does not come off. So once I deflated it, I went ahead and took my Dyson vacuum uh, with the like hard floor attachment and vacuumed it. It did a really good job at getting off majority of it. It looks a lot better than what it did because I did not want to like fold it up and store it looking like that. It looked so gross, especially because this is a brand new air mattress. We bought it right before we moved specifically because, you know, we knew we were going to be sleeping on one. I'm glad that we bought some because I didn't think we were going to be sleeping on them for as long as we were. So they definitely came in handy. Watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we look at the same old stars Movers just texted and said they're going to be here in less than 10 minutes 
really sucks. I was trying to get the rooms, like the beds all deflated and stuff in time, but so far I've only done the boys' room. So I'm gonna quickly do the other one, do Adrian's room, Aubrey's doing her room. That way they'll hopefully be ready for when they show up. Well, delivery people just showed up. We told them we would put it together ourselves since we did not want anything to get any more messed up. I'm gonna have to wash that, that is all dirty. But these movers were definitely a lot better than the other ones that we dealt with. We actually really liked these people. They were, they were nice and they were freaking fast, like super fast. Um, so this is what all of the rooms are looking like. Yoda is scoping everything out. <laughs> Here's Aubrey's room. They put Aubrey's desk in Adrian's room, so we're gonna have to get that fixed. And here's where the bulk of everything is. You guys, my boxes are demolished. Like, I'm really scared to start opening these up. Of course, these are all like my kitchen ones. They are, they're just, they're mashed. I'm praying that our TVs are gonna work when we turn them on and my Peloton. One of the tables was completely, um, the bolt was just all the way mashed. So as of right now, there's only one bolt in this leg. So we have to try to find another one, but at least we were able to put it together. But look at my washer and dryer, you guys. I'm so mad. It is completely mashed in so this one had it this one had the knob on it this one was missing its knob and since this one is completely mashed in we were like well we'll just put the knob on the washer so the washer hopefully works i mean the the bottoms of them are mashed up but i'm i'm like how how did y'all do this so um, my husband's looking into a replacement panel um, to see if we can just replace it because that would be way cheaper than having to obviously replace the whole um, dryer um, But crisis averted um, But hopefully we can just replace the panel. I freaking love my washer and dryer. They're so pretty I don't want to replace it. I don't even know if they still make like this model. We've you know, we've had it for years now so um, he's looking into a replacement panel so I'll let you guys know what he finds out. Um, but thankfully, as of right now, it looks like this is the only broken stuff. There are dings on like quite a few things, but nothing major. Um, like our gun safe has like a big dent thing in it, but I mean, it's a gun safe. It's okay, but I'm just worried when I open these boxes because I mean, look at this box. It did not look like that when we gave it to him. It was a brand new box and that thing is completely mashed. And it's all my pots and pans. Um, oh, so time to start unboxing. Hopefully everything's okay. As I was carrying the boxes into the kitchen, glass was literally falling out of the cracks. It was insane. So I knew cutting this open, I was like, man, there is definitely going to be some broken stuff, which I'll show you guys here in just a moment. But it's just mind blowing to me how much money we spent. This was, you know, by far the most expensive move we have ever done. And this is the worst move that we've ever done for how much money we spent. We thought for sure they would take good care of our stuff. I mean, obviously after reading the reviews and whatnot, that wasn't the case nor do we think they would, but you would think for the price that you spend, they would actually care about your stuff and how they treat it. But honestly, it looks like they took our stuff off of the truck and then drop kicked it into the semi truck. I mean, it's just, just insanity. Not to mention that the company that delivered our stuff was a fourth company. Wasn't any of the other ones that we dealt with. I mean, it was just insane. I cannot believe it ended up being four different companies. And I mean, all of them just clearly did not so, care. 
My waffle maker is completely, I am so mad. I just freaking bought that. We have glass literally shattered everywhere. I'm assuming it was um, the bowl that was inside of here. It's, it's all shattered at the bottom of this box. So I don't even really want to touch anything else in here because I'm scared I'm going to get cut. I mean, even my pans, like look at my pan. I know I'm looking crazy, but it is first thing in the morning and I am like ready to tackle this clutter. It's driving me nuts. I started unboxing the kitchen yesterday, but I was getting very discouraged because there was just so many broken things. There's like glass shattered all over my dishware. And so unboxing is taking me far longer than it should. I'm having to like clean everything, rinse it off, dry it off, put it away because I don't want to put something back that has glass all over it. So it's definitely been frustrating. And so I thought, you know what, today I'm going to do an area where there hopefully won't be anything broken and that's going to be our bedroom. We really didn't have that much breakable stuff. So I'm like, you know what, let's tackle this. It'll make me feel better because I can get it started and hopefully get it done in a day or two. We'll see. So that's what we're going to tackle today. We're going to tackle my master bedroom. Me and my husband put our bed together the very first night because we were so excited to sleep on our bed again. It has been life changing having our bed again. We're just sleeping so much better. So we put that together. So thankfully that is done now I'm gonna attempt to arrange the furniture I don't know if I can do it by myself because you guys know this furniture is extremely heavy so at least we're gonna unbox so let's get started these are the like bottom support things for the mattress that my parents were letting us borrow so I just went ahead and put these in the hallway to get them out of the room we just had so much clutter I had no room to work with so I'm just putting everything that my parents let us borrow into the hallway until we can return it over the weekend. And then I was trying to just like organize as much as I could. I figured, you know, I might as well just wait until my husband gets here because we were a little on the fence of like how we wanted to rearrange. So I was like, let me just focus on getting as much as I can unboxed. This was actually Aubrey's second day of school so i had a little bit of time before aubrey went to school to try to get as much as i could done it kind of stinks that the kids start like over an hour apart from each other because i get started on something and then i have to stop and take her to school because unfortunately she hasn't yet got updated for the bus so they said it could take up to 10 days so for right now i'm taking her and picking her up but after the 10 days, she'll be riding the bus and it'll definitely help me get more things done around the house. Because as of right now, it's like stop and then start doing something, have to stop, go do, you know, go pick up the kids, drop them off. So it's been a little hectic and making it hard for me to get these boxes put away. Many times before. I was so grateful that my stepmom let me borrow a lot of her clothes because like I said, I really didn't pack that much with me. So I was going through, of course, my stuff and then making sure any clothes that she let me borrow that I folded and made a pile of them. I ended up putting them all into a laundry basket. That way it's a little bit easier whenever we bring it over to them. 
but this closet, you guys, is so cluttered. I really need to go through my clothes again because I, like, just looking at it, I'm like, yeah, I have way too much stuff and it's time to declutter, especially knowing that this is a rental and we're going to have to repack and move again. Just the thought of it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I do not want to do this again and I definitely don't want to have to pack and unpack all this stuff. So I'm going to start donating and I think I'm going to start a, par a Poshmark like I was telling you guys for a lot of my clothes. So be on the lookout for that. If I start it, I will link it down in my description for you guys. So if you want to buy any of my older clothes, I will list it on there hopefully soon. I was really ner nervous opening up this box because I knew that our bedside lamps were in here and I recently got those and I love our lamps. We got them from Walmart, but they're just so cute. And so opening this box, I was like, oh my gosh, please tell me they're okay. Thankfully, both of them were not broken. So we're able to keep those. I just got the kiddos from school. Adrian wants to work on her room. We put her bed together last night. We tried to do the boys' bunk beds, but my husband needs a different bit for it. Um, so we put together Adrian's bed, but now we have all of this. Yeah, so a lot. We're gonna try to get started unboxing and organizing this I'm a little bit. I'm helping. You're gonna help? Yeah. Oh, good. I was starting to make a dent in my room, but Adrian was feeling really overwhelmed and wanted some help from me. So I went ahead and helped her out in her bedroom, started putting away her clothes and trying to figure out like a way we can store them while we don't have a dresser. So I feel like it's going to be okay for now, but hopefully soon we can find a dresser to fit in here. I'm kind of thinking about maybe a corner dresser, like that's kind of like, you know, triangular or something just because this room is pretty tiny, but I'm going to see what I can find online. Maybe I can find something that'll fit this space and not make it feel too cramped in here. So I have some bins and I think what I'm going to do because Adrian doesn't have a dresser oh, yet, you. I'm going to try to put all of her like leggings, um, socks, underwear, stuff like that in these and hide I them under will. the bed if I can fit it until we get a dresser. <laughs> Show me something, give me more than one thing. 
y'all know Adrienne is my stuffed animal lover. She probably had, I'd say four boxes full of stuffed animals. And as of right now, we're just kind of, we're leaving them in these vacuum seal bags in her closet. But I'm just thinking like, there is no way all of these stuffed animals are gonna fit in this room. So I'm hoping I can convince her to declutter some of them, to wanna donate some, because there's just no way it's gonna fit in here. I know we have that door organizer, which we are gonna still use, but even with that, I just don't think it's gonna fit okay in here. It's gonna make it feel a lot more, you know, smaller, so. Hopefully once we pull everything out, she'll also realize that too and want to get rid of some because you guys know it's really hard for her. She's super attached, but I mean, if we don't have the space, we don't have the space unless maybe she decides to keep them in a vacuum seal bag until, I don't know, later or until we move. day I'm like wait a minute I don't even need the knob I can just turn it on and press play and it'll work so we went to plug it in so I could try it out to see if it still worked and we realized that our dryer has four prongs and the wall is three prongs so we ordered this little piece right here to um, it's an adapter that way you can take four prong turn it into a three prong but unfortunately my um, adapter the shape is different up at the top so I need to return this, but I ended up running to Lowe's last night because I was like, I need a washer and dryer like right now. So thankfully I was able to get the cord. I had to like completely unwire it and wire in the new one, but I got my dryer to work and I'm so excited. You can't turn the knob or anything. It doesn't work, but I can turn it on and I can dry stuff. So I just refreshed my clothes. I'm going to go ahead and get this folded, but just thought I'd share that little craziness about the dryer. Y'all know laundry is my least favorite chore, but I have to say I was so excited <laughs> to do some laundry, to have your own washer and dryer again. It's definitely um, so nice, so convenient. You never realize how much, you know, how much you love it until you don't have it. <laughs> so I was so excited to get some laundry done, get caught up because we had piles growing in all the bedrooms. I was really trying to, you know, get it hooked up and not have to go visit my parents again and drop off more stuff. So I'm glad this is gonna work for now. We're still gonna try to find the replacement for it. Or even, I told my husband, I was like, even if we just found the silver knob that goes on there and then we could take the panel off and like duct tape the the thing back into place and then just have the knob on there and just not touch it that way it looks like everything is normal and 
because it's more aesthetically appealing but we just won't touch it because you know we don't want it to fully fall off even if it doesn't work as long as it looks okay you know and it functions it'll be fine until a later date when we feel like replacing them just because we're already replacing so many things in our house the last thing we want to do is have to buy a new dryer I'm so excited the kids have now started school. We're getting into a routine and I'm happy to say they are all loving their new schools. They're making friends. They said everyone here is super nice. So it definitely made me feel a lot better about everything because you just never know how it is, especially if the kids are starting in the middle of a school year. It's just so nerve wracking, but I'm so happy the kids are loving it so far and making friends and we're getting into a routine. I actually just signed up for a gym membership. So this day I actually went to the gym with my sister, Courtney. She lives like four minutes down the road. So we're able to get together, go work out. She has a little girl who's four years old. Um, her daughter's name is Remy and Remy and Ethan are literally like two months apart. So they play so good together. And I was actually able to go to the gym and get a full workout in without being interrupted because he was having so much fun in the daycare with her. So that's going to help out. I'm just excited to be in a gym again. Hopefully with, you know, the, the more we go there, the more he gets used to it. Hopefully he'll be able to go even if Remy doesn't come with us because she does go to preschool um, two days out of the week. So I'm like, I'm sure there's going to be times where I go and she's not with us. But we'll see. I'm just happy to be back into the gym and getting into a good routine. I finally wanted to get back into the kitchen and start tackling some more areas. So I'm moving the spices over here in this big cabinet. I did have them up above, but I knew I was like, yeah, that's not going to be enough space because at our old house, I had two big cabinets full of spices. I did declutter a lot of them before we left. I got rid of old ones and expired ones but I still have so many. So I'm hoping to fit all of them into one cabinet. I do have to put like my oils and stuff like that in the one above because it's just taller, but trying to figure out how I'm going to organize everything. I'll definitely take y'all along that journey with me. I'm sure there's going to be tons of organizing videos and unboxing in the future. We are now at the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. I upload cleaning motivation every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.